one Prozac a day. Her spins the CPA. Her dreams went out the door, and she turned 24. Only been with one man. What happened to her plan? She was gonna be an actress. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. Uh, having just, I haven't spoken at all for since this morning, um, and I just realized that that really hurt. So uh, I might have to cut this short. Um, but before we get started, we have a, we do have a lot to go over. So before we get started. Everyone should totally check out Kyle Wilson, Wendy Stabalis, Golden Assets, Puddin' Cheeks, VV Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, and Legacy of Bermuda on the YouTube. If you want to follow people on the Twitter, at HeyDavidDon is going to be one of the best. You got at EQ underscore crypto. You got at WetWizardVV that are also great. <laughs> Any funds that you want to put places outside of the app or anything, AfroDroidLegends.org. Ustayglassy.store, WoundedWarriorProject.org, and um, Standoff Chart on the app is my equal, if not greater, one of the best that you can follow on the app. If you cannot find him by searching, go to the Secret Rare Spider-Man and look at who listed it for 69420. <laughs> That's why I love him. Uh, and then Chavi Cat 5, of course. If you cannot find me on the app, then go and search the Steve Rogers musical. I have number 45 up for sale. Go and uh, find me there. So there is a couple things to go. I'll start with Earth 2. Uh, Earth 2 has a new staking tier, not a new staking, they have a new jewel tier. And the new jewel tier is, uh, I don't think it's rolled out yet. There were some updates yesterday. I haven't gone on and play. I pretty much just woke up, saw the news, like, okay, I, there's so many things going on. I didn't even get back to YouTube comments yet. Uh, so those guys are like eight hours behind. I'm, I'm, I'm behind eight hours on that. So I have that. There is a new article out on this E2... Blah, 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 blah. Shane just did do an announcement. Nothing was done, uh, said on the actual announcement. He wants you to go to uh, earth2.io slash news, uh, and then you'll see it there. But again, there is a new uh, uh, jewel tier, which I thought was pretty awesome. You'll be able to clone and delete action buttons con uh, consistently available, keeping hollow buildings in proportion when placed on different land fields. So I thought that was a pretty cool way to be like, hey, instead of designing this house 30 times, it's basically just a copy and paste. I thought that was really cool for the hollow buildings if you want like a base house. And I actually think there might be something like that similar in the Viviverse. Like, hey, you know what? Um, you can probably build your own house, but here's a, a, you know, a basic house that you can uh, use if you're not really good at architecture or you're not really good at uh, construction. <coughs> and you wanna say, um, you don't know how to build one, here's a pre-made one for you. And that's one that everyone can use. And you could use it or not, you know, uh, you, by all means you could be creative. I think that's something that would be really good in the Viviverse. It would let the other people creative by giving you that option. And then it would let the people that cannot do that, like me, be like, oh, yes, give me this, please. Or at the end of the day, if you do know someone that is creative, you can go and give them a call, give them a ring, and you can say, hey, you know what? Um, I would really like you to build me a awesome house. Can you do that? I'll give you, you know, an alligator Loki, or I'll give you some gems, master collector points, if they are transferable. I'm not sure if the master collector points are transferable. It would make, if you do have a, somebody that does have two accounts, you know, let's say somebody has enough money to complete every set twice, which I don't know how you do that. Um, ask at what wizard VV, he's got like every set. Um, if you could do that and then, well, what happens if you do that? Well, you get every set, you get max points, but then if you get, uh, you know, a second set, you get a lot less points. But if you have a secondary account and that, and you put your second sets over there, those will also get max points. And then if you are able to move those master collector points to your main account, I think that's something that, I don't know if that's cheating because you are still paying for them. You are still going and buying them. Um, you know, I guess anyone can do that, but I, I, I digress, I'm not here nor there. For Tesla, I will go, I will get back to, to Omi in a second, but for Tesla, um, California has lost its mind and has uh, decided that they want to tax the sun where Tesla solar power is about, let's say, $10,000 is one of like its cheapest options uh, with the federal tax incentive uh, to be able to go, uh, you know, for solar. Uh, it, they're able to get it down to like $7,100 over like a 10 year plan. It costs about $69 a month. Everyone comment nice down below for the 69. And basically what California is doing is saying, well, actually, uh, we're going to put in a uh, solar tax for anyone that uh, that has these things. So basically what they're saying is, Oh, there's a 26% uh, 
uh, federal tax incentive, uh, we are going to apply a $26 uh, dollar a month or a 26% um, tax on the sun. Basically what they're doing is increasing their prices by about 55% from $69 up to 100, you know, adding another $37 on there. Um, and that goes against what the federal government is trying to do. Federal government is trying to say, hey, we, and Tesla as well, I was like, hey, we should accelerate the advent of uh, sustainable and renewable energy. And California is saying, we're going to dis disincentivize that. And we're going to make it so that you actually pay more. We're going to get rid of that incentive. Like I said, California has lost its mind and they're taking that money that would be going to like the, the consumer and they're basically putting it back to their grid. And, and they decided that, oh, hey, if you want to sell your extra power back to the grid, you're not going to be able to at, you know, when, when times are high, you're only going to be able to do it at wholesale. Get the fudge out of here, California. I hate you. This is why you get fired. Like the, po all right, politicians, oh, politicians are just crooks. I hate 99% of them. And sorry, just had to get that off. It was news involving Tesla. So, um, for Omi, Omi, so I've said before, if it's not the exchanges themselves, it's the homies of the exchanges because the exchanges right now have pushed this up another how much percent? How much percent? Let's go to the BitForex here. Let us not forget, we were at 0 0.0050 or 51 just the other day. I think we we're even at 48 the day before. We're now at 0 0.0066. So going, if we go on the chart, uh, back on the 11th, or I'm sorry, late, late, late on Jan, no, 11th. On January 11th, at around uh, you know two in the morning, we were at 0 0.0048. We are now at 0 0.0066. So that is about another that's like a 40 something percent increase. Oh, a Comey Skywalker, thank you for that two dollar super chat. It says hooray California, let's go Brandon. <laughs> uh, that's I don't know. I'm probably offending people. I'm sorry, uh, but uh, there's super chats. So I had to say it. If you put in a super chat, I have to say it. Barring, you know, any like, you know, racial or, and, you know, like, we, you, you, you assume you know where to draw the line. Anyway, um, yeah, so now we're actually, yeah, we're, we're up there. We were up to 0.67. We do have a little, I mean, again, you don't go up that much without having a couple of, uh, of red candles. You, you definitely need a few of those. Uh, currently, so far, there is a $2.4 million uh, buy. There's a 12 point, uh, 2.4 million OMI buy, 12.31 million OMI buy. There's 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 a lot, uh, and the, and there's I assume there's much more underneath, underneath there. But uh, pretty much what has been going on, like I said, the last couple of days, uh, is, is has been extraordinarily bullish because of the amount of fifteen million dollars uh, in trading. That's been about three x of where we are, that where we have been. So five million, uh, let's let's say five million dollars a day in trading volume about that would give us about you know at 0 0.005 let's say so we in so we triple that so we increase that by uh 200 percent and we go you know an extra 10 million dollars pumps us up like 0 0.00 almost almost uh 20 percent of one penny so let's say 17 percent um actually no, I'm, I'm sorry 34 percent but it does give us almost one uh one fifth of one penny so let's say if we go and we do this again, and suddenly we have uh, 25 million. Does it go up another, uh, you know, 17th or, or, or one fifth of one penny? And if we go and we get a hundred million dollars a day, if we, you know, not, not right away, not right away. I mean, if we get on multiple exchanges, um, you know, let's say a couple in February, a couple in March, but by April we have a hundred million dollars a day. Well, what's that going to do? Is that going to increase us by, let's say, so? One fifth of a penny was ten, so it's times that by, by ten, so it's one fifth. Eh. So that would give us about roughly two two and a half cents. We would increase about two cents, so it'd be about two and a half cents if we stay at that, and that's if we, um, that's at about a hundred million a day. As long as I'm doing that math right, ten million increases five, so times that by ten, uh, it would increase us about an additional two cents. So it'd be about two point six cents. Um, once we get around that particular point, a hundred million dollars a day should give us around two and a half cents. Uh, when, and wh when that is, I don't know. I don't think that will be right away unless we're g going crazy. Um, but the easy access, and again, there could be days when we reach 
hundreds of millions, if not billions, just because people are trying to FOMO and trying to get in before the big boom. Uh, and, and that can take place relatively easily. But, you know, I mean, $10 million a day, one person can do that by themselves. You know, one person worth nine figures or a billion dollars, like, yeah, going all in. I see where this is going. Partner with Disney, no problem. Anyway, guys, I've talked long enough for 10 minutes. I'm going to go and do the comments right now. Uh, wave select. What's going on? Uh, yeah, Superman hit 4K. Uh, I think it hit 4.3 at one point. It was going up. Um, so Superman's doing really... Oh, 4.4. It was 4.4. Yeah, doing really well. Uh, <coughs> Superman to the moon. You know, he says, uh, do you have to stake to gain access to selling NFTs for only in the future? I think you do. Uh, I think that is one of the tiers. They will come out with a uh, state home utility program, volume two, in, I, I don't know when, but it, I'm going to guess it will be after the migration and after there are listings. And I don't know if, I did hear a rumor that some, just because we are not, you know, a, a homie is not going to stake, um, that they're not going to allow staking for more, doesn't APY, doesn't mean that exchanges won't. Again, I don't see any real... Well, like, why would exchanges offer more OMI for staking OMI, you know, when, when they would have to take out of their own supply? Uh, I did hear a rumor about that. I don't know how true that would be. Because, again, you know, I'll, if, if I'm getting more OMI for my OMI, I'll stake half my OMI. You know, if an exchange wants to do that, take out of their own pocket, you know, why, why not? Um, so, <laughs> yeah. But, yes, I do think we will have to, that will be a tier, having to go and stake a certain amount of OMI to sell in OMI. Um Buying NFTs with OMI, is that fire? <laughs> is that burn? Uh, yes, buying NFTs with OMI, the fees uh, that burn, they burn from the circulating supply when you go and do that. Um, I mean, you you do you do transfer that OMI from one person to another, but you are the fees, instead of being taken out of the reserve wallet, are being taken out of the circulating supply, which is very, very good. Ludwig says, is it too late to buy Superman? Dollar cost averaging Supergirl be worth anything close to 500? What is Wonder Woman's ceiling? Um, any of these, I don't... Picture these like Goku. Goku has limits, but one of his major superpowers is being able to push past those limits. Anytime there's an enemy stronger than him, he finds a way to be able to go and um, push past the limits that he thought he had. So I don't want to say that there's any ceiling for these, um, I think they're as much as people are willing to pay. I think they're the ceiling for things with lower mints should be higher, but I think that um, like like for Supergirl, she should have a higher ceiling, but because there's a lot less of her. But you know, there's um, I don't think anyone's going to pay more for a Supergirl than a Superman, unless of course it's a really uh, awesome mint number. If it's a really awesome. Um, yeah, it's a mid-number that means something. They're sub-100 or sub-50. Uh, but, I, I mean, Superman, I, by the end of the year, like I would bet anything that Superman's not going to be $2,000 by the end of the year. I'd bet anything that he's probably doubled, if not tripled. Uh, you know, now, this is also... I don't think DC, Marvel, or Disney will go to open sea right away. I think that might even take towards the end of the year, if not next year just because they are bigger companies they do have a lot of red tape um but that being said superman i don't think needs that for him to to go to higher places i think a lot of these characters in marvel and disney and dc once we have only to nft they're, they're gonna go they can go really to the moon um so yeah i don't think they really have a seal i think all of those i would say superman wonder woman supergirl um in in that order uh but but i do think Wonder Woman is a bit undervalued. You know, she's like, what, one, one sixth or, or one seventh of Superman's price, and she has, you know, 1,100 more of her. I think that in the future, we'll look at that and laugh. Because even though she is cartoony, that is still a first appearance um, of Wonder Woman. So, yeah. Yeah, DW says it's never too late to buy blue chips if you plan on hodling. Again, if you are going to need money in the immediate future and you think that you know anything can happen in the short term so definitely don't put in any money you're not willing to lose dylan says pride for the win oh is pride is pride mooning is pride mooning let's take a look see at the pride oh man all right where is the 
Con Luz Divia. Okay, I don't know why this is taking so long. Is there an update? Is there an update? All right, let's, let's take a look at the updates. Go to B, search VV. There's no update. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go to brands. We're gonna go to Cover Girls, Day of the Dead, Cryptozoic. All right, we're we're the all right, Javanche. and we're gonna go to the Pride and see what. All right, let me check on the Collective Rewind because I really do like that one too. It's cool. Ooh, eight hundred doll hairs. All right, no, nope, that's a Cleopatra. All right, give me this Pride. This Pride, this first edition Pride, uh, 1952 of them, 6,800. Um, I, I mean, that's pretty close to, uh, to where it's or it's been for a while. You know, it did have that meteoric rise up to about, like, 13K and then way back down. But, yeah. Ludwig says, my goal for a few weeks now has been an ultra-rare Steamboat Willie. I've sold a lot of my collection to get there, and now I think Superman may be a better investment. Not sure. I would say Superman is a better investment, but I th think that... You would, you know, Superman, probably better to get at 3K, um, you know, 2,900. I mean, you're buying at the top, which is not always, not always a bad thing. You know, uh, sometimes it can be good, very good if you want, if, if the price has stayed there for a while and you say, hey, I want to make a, you know, record purchase here and being the one to buy this and that might allow others to follow in your stead. Dr. Profit has one and it could go opposite that. You know, Dr. Profit has the goal for paying 19100 on the app for a reso. It was for mine. And he, uh, uh, you know, now they're down like 18.8. But Walt, Walt is up to 18.8. Oh my God, Walt is just absolutely rocketed to the moon. Um, so it's not, yeah, again, there's only really three Disney uh, specific. Is the, is the partner statue? It's Elsa and it's the hat. Um, so yeah, that's, that's very, very good. Um, but, but Superman, I would say, at least for the golden moments that was, obviously they have Steamboat Willie, but, um, I don't know for, I, I would, I would pick Superman just cause I like him and I'm familiar with him better. I, you know, I, um, you know, Steamboat Willie is not that first appearance and, you know, Superman just looks, and I get it, Ultra is, you know, it's animated, but, and I don't know why it doesn't have that animated sticker thing on it, you know, the button, but. Superman just looks great. That that's one of the best looking on the app. Um, OG says, "What do you guys think is the best golden moments long term?" I mean, probably Waltz, but maybe El I long term. If we're going like twenty years, Elsa, Elsa's great. Uh, Ludwig says, "Partner statue hands down." Uh, no one says uh, uh, Ryan. No one says partners. What's up, Dutch Omi? How's it going? Lynn X says, "Hey, Danny DeVito mixture with a you guys." So, uh, what Lynn X did was quite hysterical he had asked an ai to draw me and i guess when the ai had drawn me it had taken the shape of me and my jackets uh and the shape of something else but here's what ai thinks i look like i guess it was when i had a hat on as well uh, now i think that currently looks like a mixture between danny devito and the guy that says hey you guys on um on the Goonies, and I mean I'm here for it. There's another one, that's more like a darker style, like League of Legends type of guy. But again, still pretty short and fat. I look like Discount Gimli, like I look I look like Discount Gimli, uh, that you know boinked. Uh, who is that guy with the hump in 300? Uh, the guy that really wanted to be a Spartan, and he was not a Spartan because he was disfigured. That is what I think this guy looks like, and. No, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm okay. But thank you, Linux, for having AI draw me. <laughs> That's how AI sees me. Uh, Josh says, hello, Randy. What's up, Pags? 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 Omar Youssef says, what's up, Randy? How's it going? Nick Brett says, hello, Randy. Hello, Mr. Pags. What's up, Joey Replay? How's it going? Muhammad Nam uh, Name. Uh, UCV Equinox. Thank you. Have a good day. Justin says, go, 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 go broke. <laughs> Henry Pags is up, Nikki B. Arena says, for people that have two phones... Or one phone and tablet do you have two different accounts or can you have the same account of each when trying to get drops you can have i i've had the account the account running on two different things at the same time not never for drops um i've only done it like if let's say i am 
on you know I'm on my phone and because my tablet's playing something uh, you know I'm watching wh whatever and then I go and I say hey you know what um, I get a phone call so I have to stop what I'm doing I have to answer the phone call but I still want to be able to uh, go on the app so I'll go I'll put the phone over here put it on speaker and I'll take the app and then I'll continue doing what I was doing while I'm talking so at that point I would have two um, devices running the same app I've never had an issue, but I've never tried it for the drops before. I assume some people do, but, you know, I don't know. Marina says, for people that have two phones... Oh, I just read that. Where's my query at? says, are you a millionaire again? Um, I don't think so. Let me check here. I think I would be just under. Let's see, is that point zero zero six seven? So let me take a look. 116.5 times point zero zero six seven um it's really close because that's about 780 and then my my vault is worth actually yeah my vault is worth like 210 so nine yeah i am i am actually a millionaire again i did it <laughs> uh just because the, the vault has increased so much you know i only put like 45 50 grand in there and it's worth over two hundred thousand. um and you know and i also have you know like 20 30k in earth two give or take so yeah I, I do i do it has it has gone up um now granted with the vault you know out of that 210,000, like if i really wanted to sell everything if i you know let's say i get like 180 175 for it so so maybe it's maybe it's still close um and even with the you know the taxes and everything it's probably not officially officially yet but you know net worth right now before i have to pay the tax on everything yes i yeah so <laughs> Good times. Good times. Uh, Steven M says, nice. Exidal says, uh, solar tax, yes. Um, uh, the, co um, the California government, Gavin Newsom, wants to tax the sun. Like a moron. Um, it doesn't say solar tax. Yeah, we totally live in a free country. <laughs> hello, dog says, hello, everyone. How is everyone? I'm good. I'm good. I I also joined the uh, Omicongs, um, the, their group. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have a pain in my left. I think it's just gas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely just gas. Um, so I, I did join the Omicongs NFT Social Club. I haven't done anything yet. I messaged them because I got, I got an ape. Because I figured if designer con if artists, independent artists, are the first ones to go to the... Um, if they are the first ones to go to OpenSea, then it's like, okay, well... You know, ape together are pri <laughs> I got my I got my boy texting me. He is hey, why are you wearing a jacket inside? No heat. You are correct, sir. Is that Will Coulter down there? William Coulter, is that you? Um, so I decided to get a. Um, I did decide to get one because if I get one now for like six hundred, I, I don't even know what I paid. Um, let's see, little friends. I got I got the Harambe looking one. Look at how cute he is. Uh, so I got him. I paid five fifty for them, uh, for number nine twenty nine, and I figured, you know, board ape yacht club Harambe, these are probably one. I think, in my own little projection, these might be one of the ones that are able to go and uh, maybe get like picked up and maybe get like, yeah, everyone really likes them because uh, there is a very limited amount of them. So I got one in hopes to flip and do that. Um, like I said, I haven't really done anything in the. Um, I don't even know what it was called, the, the Little Friends Yacht Club or whatever. Um, <laughs> um, it's up like 20, it's up like, eh, uh, uh. it's up now, but it's, should go to the moon in February, April, uh, uh, within two months. Probably next month. Oh god, my body. Um, CRA says I'm from California. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Creepery Banana says having Omi on BitForex and migrating to ERC20 is going to happen right away. Don't have to do anything. If you have your stuff on BitForex, you do not have to do anything. Uh, it auto it in that last week of January, it'll automatically exchange it for you. Um, Justin said the bankers are evil. Yeah. Be great says, can we get it? Amen. Amen. 
uh, call me Skywalker says for California let's go Brandon thank you for the super chat that does mean a lot Mohammed Najma says Marina I would just make uh, burner accounts and split your gems up for best chances um, that is possible to do I think Usher RX says there's no such thing as max master collector uh, points with unlimited common and uncommon point stacking for comics that is true but I mean like for the collectibles you know after you get a set you know, if you get the set again, you don't get as many points. So that, that's what I meant by that. But yes, you can, you can stack all day. Um, also, uh, we had a, not not like a huge rise. It didn't like, you know, quadruple or anything. But why do I keep exiting, exiting out of that app? I do not understand why. Um, but what I do understand is going to, or for me, I'm going to go to the tweeters. And I'm going to go to my uh, video that has started playing right now. And I'm going to give myself a like. So if everyone could smash that like button that would be great because that is a free way to support the channel oh look at kathy wood over there look oh my god that is that is a woman kathy wood that is a woman oh, sorry i really love her um one of the most brilliant financial minds uh of our generation and i love her. all right so moving on um thank you for liking the channel where was i going here who said that they had no such thing uh oh yeah so the cop the comics if you go and take a look at, and I just did this kind of on a whim yesterday, um, because Comics and Crypto told me to, but Tales of Suspense, number 57, the secret rare, I bought at like like 500 something dollars, and is up to 945 now. Again, the first appearance of Hawkeye, I don't know anything about it, but Comics and Crypto told me to, so I was like, okay, I'll get that. Um, that is what I did. Uh, speaking of which, the comics are something that, again, when they are able to go to OpenSea, which will probably be... I, I say give it a, give it a year maybe 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 less than that if you know Disney and Marvel really want to you know hurry up and uh, get some of this fresh monies. Um, I have Fantastic Four number five, which is that stayed pretty steady, and I'm looking for Fantastic Four number one right now because I have two of those, but it is currently not okay. Here we go, and that's uh, eleven four. Oh oh oh! I bought it twelve seven. Oh, it's down eleven four. Oh oh, my heart. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, B Grace, lol. Justin says we are products of the corporation, Randy. <laughs> uh, so as Randy, do you have a target Omi price where you start taking profit? Um, no, it's I more have a timing issue where I do have to pay a very large tax bill this year, and uh, I will have to go and. Uh, sell at some I'm gonna have to hopefully time it and be, just sell as little as possible so that I could pay for that and then you know pay for the rest of the I mean I mean YouTube right now because I'm streaming so much and because I'm making so many videos um, and I did have a bunch of patreon members come out um, YouTube is pretty much um, being able to support me right now um, but yeah between streaming streaming so much making videos the patreon and the, the fridge, I guess, goes towards my vault, um, but but I should be able, you know, as I get more subscribers, to be able to not need to sell that much Omi or, or, or any of it, to really. Uh, but I will get an air conditioner this year, uh, maybe around May, you know, to because last year was rough. Um, says, I need to have a target. Oh, yeah, so it, it, I mean, I'm hoping to, you know, after five cents, I'll, that's five cents, maybe I'll sell like a million um and then hope hopefully you know i get an extension on that on the taxes and i don't have to pay until october in which case i'll i don't know um maybe i'd sell about four million you know because let's say we're at 10 cents or it'd be four hundred thousand. no that'd be forty thousand. no what's yeah because a million would be a hundred thousand at 10 cents um so i don't know if i would sell four million i would maybe sell two or three Maybe two, you know, uh, two million because that'd be two hundred thousand. That would be um, one, one hundred thousand, one hundred thirty. Whatever goes to tax goes to tax. The rest would go to my Tesla Cybertruck at some point, and then the rest after that remaining would just go to living. Um, and then YouTube, I would just re-roll into uh, making things better. Maybe maybe getting an actual computer. Maybe getting a sound setup. Um, pretty much everyone on here has a lot better setup than I do, and is a lot better quality. So I do. Y'all will be getting your money's worth on Patreon. I promise. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Sea Dogs says, let's go, Brandon. Hoddle Yoda says, uh, long time no see. I'm back. This time, I'm not hoddling Omi, but Womi. Hey, yo, Hoddle Yoda. So be advised, you will have to, um, if you want to sell that or you want to use it on the app, there is a way. Check out my last live, like the first 10 or 15 minutes of my last live video that premiered last night uh, at like 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that does show you exactly what, you know, I do it, you know, all on my phone. I show it's like, hey, this is what you do uh, to do your Womi and all that. Sea Dog says, and Baxter too. Uh, let's just champion everyone. Hollyo says, Randy, you'll be you multi-millionaire soon. Um, for a multi-millionaire, let's say with 116,500 times point, you know, or let's say times point zero one five. No, yeah, about zero one one zero one six is when I would get the uh, the multi-million. You know, at so at one point six cents hopefully in February, uh, if not, then March. And we got Alex A saying, what do you think about Superman going up today? I think that is pretty well deserved. You know, he is, let's say, not as popular as Batman, and he's not in season one, and he's not the first of the first of the first. So he does have some things working against him as far as being compared to the Todd, but he is still part of that trinity, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and that is, there's only one of him. It's not like Batman where you have a bunch of different options. You know, the Eddie Riso, the Joey M, the Becky Cloonan, and, and that's just in the first set. Um, and he is the best looking on the app, I think, or one of the best, if not the best looking on the app. And he only has, you know, like 1,338 more mints than the uh, Todd. So it's not like he has double the Todd, and that's why he's less than he was less than half the price. So he is closing that gap. I do expect that gap to close a little bit more, but then... You know, Todd people that come in. Um, I, I do expect Todd to run away at some point. Um, I, I don't think there's any correlation between one price and the other. That's just something that will continue to go. Um, again, if they have a black suit Superman, if you just have like a Clark Kent, that like it'd be really great to have an animation of like the 90s Superman, Clark Kent in his suit when he's at the Daily Planet, and then you know busting it open like with his with his man boobs. You know, uh, I, I think that'd be pretty cool to be able to to see that. Um, Maybe even like a Spider-Man with that as well, you know, taking that off. So I think Tobey Maguire did that in one movie. So I think that'd be great. And and, and I think that's it's well-deserved. He might retrace, again, going up from 3,100 to 4,400, might retrace down to like 37, you know, but 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 either way, that is um, long, long-term long hodl. He's very, very good. Uh, he's, he's one, he's like an A tier, A tier. Um, JTA says, is it wrapped Omi accounted for in these projections? in these projection projections um i mean you would have to change over to the layer one or layer two at some point um but you yeah you'd have to go and you would have to go and say uh and, and change it over um but but i don't i don't know what the wrapped only is right now for the prices uh so adjust for that audio says uh well, mean only prices are the same right i want to swap uh, Omi to Omi, so bad, the ratios. Uh, I don't know if it is. I, I have, I've never had Omi, so I don't know what the price is, but, um, you could, by all means, you can keep it on, unless you want to use it to buy NFTs or sell it, in which case you would have to, uh, change it over to regular Omi. And if it is a difference in price, you know, you would either take a hit or maybe it works out in your favor. Most likely, I think it would take a hit. I do remember people paying for Omi and it was, a bit woamy and it was being a bit higher because it was wrapped. Uh, and now with the changeover, maybe that's just not good. Um, but but either way, you know, homie, homie to the moon. JTA says, yeah, basically, Jose says, I accidentally pumped the price. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what, Jose, you buy a bunch of Superman? You buy a bunch? How'd you do it? Show me what you got. Oh, my God. I have so many messages. All right, moving on. X Idol says, who pumped Powers of X? I don't know. I sold mine. Uh, Stephen Gwynn says, Hi, Randy. Love the chat. Oh, yes. Yeah, Stephen Gwynn. Um, Stephen Gwynn and Troll Games. Uh, you have you have uh, comics. Or or uh, actually, no. This one was is not, not not a comic. This is a Captain America Uncommon from the Marvel Mighties. Um, oh, I think Troll Games got the comic. But you yeah, you won the Captain uh, Uncommon. Message me on Twitter. Um, yeah, so, so go to the QR code. Uh, sc screenshot it. And then message me on Twitter. Also, would I buy a sub-100 Deadpool Ultra Rare for 2K? I mean, that that is probably about right on what it should be. It should be properly 
uh, placed, should be properly valued at. Um, long term, that's probably very good. Um, let's go to the thing right here. Let's see what the Deadpool price is though. At 510, yeah, so about 20, um, you know, 2040, give or take, would be about the sub 100 uh, price range, what I would deem it as fairly valued. And yeah, if you're looking at number 85, that's about what, 1990, yeah, 1999. That is the best bang for your buck. You know, the next one after that does go, you know, from there to 2300. So you are increasing the floor by a couple hundred. Um, but yeah, long, long term is probably, probably really good. Just my opinion. Um, but yes, that, that is properly rated right now. Uh, it's under value by like $40, but it, it's pretty much properly rated. That is a fair price, the fairest of them all. JTS is Mr. Pags and all the homies. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning. Some random name 18 says, did you see the new secret gold yucky drop? Yes, I did. It was actually last night dropped on the stream. Um, and like no one, no one was uh, posting up for sale, but they did eventually. And if I go serial code is right now, there's 62 on the market. It shows there are no collectibles, but I, I know there are. So I'm going to have to X out of the app. I'll have to go back in. Okay, I'm going to exit out of some of this. Oh, so the Omi Daily Burn account just tweeted. Oh, they're doing a giveaway. That's interesting. Nice. Uh, it, I, I don't know. So uh, the common, it's Kingo from Eternals. It's a common. First appearance, number 5,436. To participate in the Okomi Daily Burn giveaway where you can win that, register at okomi.win. Get your free raffle tickets. A lucky winner will be randomly selected in 11 days via the website. Good luck, Omi fam. I love it when people do the, that those type of giveaways. Um, it just creates hype and stuff around the community. Really fun. All right, so I'm going to go to this uh, Yucky Charmer here and see how many of them are in the market. All right, so he's at 1,900 right now. Um, he is gold. He's one that, because of the limited amount of him at 666, he might do pretty well on OpenSea. Um, he might do pretty well on uh, just because people are like, that's disgusting and I love him. <laughs> like, uh, I feel like he, he might have the potential for that. Oh, yeah, this is so sad. Wired 3K to Kraken so I could exchange for Omi yesterday and I still hasn't went through. Yeah, if it's the first time or even it's not like just sometimes the wires take a while. It is. It, and, and this will happen when we get on exchanges and someone's like, you know, I should have bought a half a penny. Now it's at a cent. I'm going to buy it. And then because it takes a couple days for it to um, for the funds to settle and the wire to go through whatever is even if even if they're just setting up an account uh, on Coinbase, it does take several days to verify the identity. I don't know why, um, but then it, it takes them so long and suddenly they they're going to buy it at, you know, three X of what the original price was. They get discouraged, not knowing that three X is, you know, three cents is still probably a pretty good price point, considering what we know uh, about the project long term. I think three cents will be considered nothing and cheap. And anyone who got it at that will consider, oh, he got it at three cents back in 2022. Steal, bro, steal. Um, yeah. Uh, Justin says, my NFTs are covering my initial investment. No need to sell my OMI. Nice. DW says, same here. Yeah, so that's the other thing. On what do I sell? Do I sell OMI for taxes or do I sell NFTs for taxes? Um, it's hard. Uh, I, I would say most of the things now I really don't want to sell. Um, I, I don't. I, you know, I collect all the Marvel. I have the, I have the, D maybe at some point the, yeah, no, I, I kind of like what I have. Um, there's really nothing, you know, I do have extras of things like, you know, do I need, you know, four common Groot and four uncommon and, and two, you know, rare? Do I need two sets of Throgs? I'm not selling the Lokis. Um, I, I will sell the comics at some point. So, yeah, maybe I have, let's say, about 20-something K in comics. Um, but but I don't think I would... That would, that would be in the future um, when, when the comics are appreciated. Because, again, there's a chance that they're, you know, they're good, but... but there's there's a chance that they move into absolute insanity, and I am I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, DW says same here. Jose says I bought 15 million Omi this morning. I hate Big Forex. You can't buy without moving the price. Oh, that actually was you. Oh wow, wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, agreed. 
Dude, you you savage. You mad lad. You done it. You done it. Um Ooh. A buddy of mine is <laughs> a buddy of mine is not uh it's not feeling so good today. Nice. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, you again, Tashi says, Hi, Randy. Would you start selling stuff? Um, the, the, no, I, I mean, I, I would only to fund other purchases. Like I will, if we, if the Marvel comics go up a lot before I should have kept that extra resale. I really should have. Cause if they go up, um, before Pokemon, I would probably sell one or a couple. I would sell that. I would sell my, uh, number 47, Secret Rare Captain America, and number 43, Secret Rare Storm, all for Pokemon. Because again, I do have a second Secret Rare Captain America, and I have currently six Secret Rare Storm, which I did not intend to do, but she kept becoming really undervalued, so I kept buying. Um, I would probably be able to go and, and, and sell those, maybe get like, you know, 40, 50k together, and, uh, th and then have a lot of money for Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, so I would do that, and that's the only way I would do it. I would grow, you know, addition by subtraction, as uh, John Kreese would say in Cobra Kai. Uh, that's the only time I'd really sell those. Uh, I mean, anything else, like for Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, I would just buy with Omi or something like that. And, and, I, and I, in conjunction with what I'm selling, I would buy more. I would buy more Pokemon with Omi as well. Uh, I just picked up a pizza and Wally. <laughs> Oh, the pizza truck that says uh, thoughts on long term. Well, I had news of a movie coming in June, which means so does pizza truck. Also trying to consider viewers possibility. I would really enjoy it if they gave the pizza truck utility the ability to drive. I mean, what would you rather drive in? You know, a DeLorean, an Ecto-1, which are cool, and I'd probably rather drive in the Ecto-1, but a gold pizza planet truck, like there's nothing more baller than having a gold vehicle. Like, am I gold? Am I Austin Powers and gold member? Because I don't have a good line for that. <laughs> hey, gold member. Beyonce was in that movie. Remember when Beyonce tried to make it as an actress? It was a wild time. Um, Justin says, man, I'm dying to know why Mickey doesn't have an animated badge on it if the team forgot or Disney didn't okay it. Yeah, I don't know why either because it's animated. Yeah, it's, that's very confusing. Mike says, Ritmo, first ever animated NFT, 1500 editions, massively undervalued. I like that as well. It is very cute. It is a pony. It neighs. Oh, it doesn't actually neigh, but just me. You know, Jake Dedman says, hello from England. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I, uh, you guys can drink, boy. I thought I can drink as, you know, we were going hard one day over in, uh, over in Kent. It was just like, uh, was drinking and I was like, all right, guys, I'm about to slow down. They're like, let's do double shots. I was like, okay, guys, I'm gonna, oof, I need a, I need a fish and chips over here. <laughs> um, thank you guys for 50 likes. Uh, London is great. I, I love I love that place. Uh, I have to go back. I want to go back soon. Mohammed Najmi says, anyone here quick flipping on VV right now? Market is bugged again. Just a heads up. Incomplete transfers. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. So if there there are incomplete transfers, then that should mean that flippers are not able to buy and then resell immediately. Um, maybe I'll sell the Harley Quinn. Just so a Wonder Woman. I don't know. Uh, you know, with Wonder Woman, oh, with oh, she was over. Oh, she's seven eighty three now. Seven eighty three. But now she's seven sixty five because of me. Um, you know, I'll try to play the market here a little bit. Harley Quinn, I will keep for a little while. You know, I, I again, I'm just testing my my thing at the market. You know, when when Wonder Woman was like five ninety nine, and then she goes up to seven eighty three. If I go and sell at a little bit of a discount, I do suspect that she does come down a little bit. Or she could not. She could go uh, well up to 1000 Maybe not right now, but um, I'm just trying to play my hand at the market for something that doesn't really matter too much. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, even if, if it, this sells and this does go to 1000 you know, when Omi moons, I'll just be like, okay, I'll just buy her back. Obviously, at a loss. Um, yeah, that's just probably what I do. Uh, go to, I haven't checked the first set in a little while. I'll see what Todd McFarlane's at. He's at 76, 77. Again, I've said multiple times, if you wanted to trade Todd this last week, you've had an amazing, amazing time. Sell anytime it goes up to over 8. Buy back anytime it goes below 8. 
and you've, you've made a ton of money. Yo, Riso at 19.6. Excuse me, Riso at 19.6. Good job, Riso. So the, um, let's, let's take a look at the, the ghost bears, because Brendan Z loves those. We're looking at, oh, that, that's down a little bit. That was at five something, it's down to 480. So I did sell Wonder Woman. Uh, that did just that did just happen. Uh, and again, I am just trading her. I am just uh, doing that. I will buy back when I see a little bit of a pullback. Currently, the transaction was, you know, an additional 745 to me. Um, if she goes down, you know, to around 700 or 690, give or take, I will buy back again. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Higher Ground says, hi, Randy. Been watching it all day. Amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you. Doesn't say someone probably bought it for you. <laughs> Maybe. Um, that as I said, Starfire was animated before Ritmo. Oh, the hair, right? Yeah. Golden Duck says, good morning, Randy. Oh, what well, good morning. I'm trying to yeah, put my feet in these here. Oh, I found a good way to keep my feet warm, and it is by uh, putting it in the sleeves of my sweatshirt that I wore yesterday. Uh, Golden Duck, I hope you're doing well. Mike McCallum says, Dazzy really didn't know that. Says, yes, sir. She is first. Oh, yeah, says, hey, Randy, uh, how are I going to approach the swap? VV app or swap site? You can do both. Um, currently, I have... 1 million on the app, uh, owe me anyway, not $1 million, that'd be everything. Um, and, and I will probably increase that a little bit, but the reason why I started is because Reese said that there might be a $50,000 staking tier that you were able to do. And when Omi reaches five cents, $1 million will be 50,000. And I think that would be enough for that. Um, and that's what I would like to do. If at some point it gets to be a, a bigger thing, maybe I'll put another couple million on there, but Again, that's at five cents, which I fully expect to hit um, by April, if not March. And if we're, you know, when that gets to 10 cents, okay, well, now that's $100,000. I don't really need to have, um, you know, more than that on, on the app. Now, again, I probably will just because when Pokemon comes on, I'll, I'll put it on there. Um, but but I, I might do more. I just don't want to lock up that much. Um, I'd rather keep it in the trust wallets and then... And then once I'm able to go to uh, the exchanges and I need to sell, I'll just pay the fees. I'll just pay the gas and then I'll, I'll get it there and sell. <clears throat> Andrew Pagley goes, bro, I realize you are really clinically insane. Welcome to the club, brother. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you, homie. You are a good homie. Wubba Wubba says, good morning, Randy and fam. What did I miss? Uh, well, Wubba Wubba, um, I don't think too much. Uh, I think the... Hmm. What did I miss? Since yesterday, there was a gold yucky charmer thing that came out. Um, there was the, uh, the swap side. They, again, they had the live yesterday on Discord, and they came out with an, an updated article. So I did make a live video last night at like 11.30, after, like a few hours after I got off with, with Mr. Pags, and I was able to go and explain to everyone how, how it's going down right now. Um, and they will start on that last week of January. So I'm very excited. Anthony R says, I have Omi and Bit4X. Do I need to do anything? No, you just keep it right there. That's fine. What do you think about Deadpool? I love him, uh, especially when he was at 35. <coughs> he was at 3,500 at one point, and now currently. Oh, God, where'd he go? And now currently that secret rare is at 2,700. So, yes, I really do enjoy him. He is uh, one of my. I think that's a good buy right now because again he was several hundred dollars higher. Uh, Storm, she's up twenty three. If she was if she were to go down to twenty one again, I'd probably get another one of her, but she is not. Oh god. Okay. All right, moving on here. Uh, VV Monster says exchanges can offer an APY because they loan your tokens and give you a piece of whatever they were charging. That's true. But like, how much are they gonna? I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious to see that happen. Does that happen? Ho 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 ho! I'm staking everything. Eli Stanky says, "Is there any anything compromising about sending someone your trust to secure wallet address to receive the Go tokens? Having someone's address only means they can send assets." Yes, correct. The only way to really go in, I mean, they could based on that, they can confirm on the blockchain on your wallet. Say like, "Oh, hey, this person has it." But, uh, but again, that's just for that specific one. Um, no, that sending them that that address is fine. Um, Never give out your seed phrase. If anyone asks for your seed phrase, block them. Get them out of your life. Call the cops. Don't call the cops. But, I mean, maybe if their life is being threatened. But, yeah, no, they, they um, just don't do that, and you're fine. 
um, the only time to really bring out your seed phrase, which again should only be written down manually. Um, I, I would not have any, I would not have that on any type of phone. I would not have that on any like email or notes or anything. I would only have that written down manually, stored in a very safe place, floor safe, bank, somewhere surrounded by dogs, guns, something like that. Uh, friends, yeah. Um, or friends like mine. Don't, don't do the friends if, if, you, if you're not sure of them. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, Justin says, only pump, only do be pumping though. The UDTV says, there are people giving away Go tokens on Reddit. Ah, oh, very good, very good. Marco Secret says, Yucky Golden will go big, Randy. I think he might, you know, especially, again, he's he's like a disgusting, lovable disgusting. Like, feels like, that is disgusting, but I love it. <laughs> I think that that's very possible to happen on OpenSea. Number Creations Afternoon, Randy, great check. Oh, well, thank you, well, thank you. I love this jacket also. Usher RX says, will you be moving your OMI to an exchange or will you do manual swap? What's your recommendation? What I'm doing is I am going to elect to keep my OMI and trust wallets for right now because, you know, not your keys, not your not your crypto. I am a little bit paranoid about what happened to Ascendex, even before what happened to Ascendex with, with things getting exchanged, uh, things getting hacked, people losing money. I was worried about that before it happened with Ascendex, and that did just reinforce my belief. Uh, that negative reinforcement really that does a number. And so what I'm doing, I'm keeping it in the trust wallets for now, and I will go and as I, you know, if I need to sell a little bit, I'll, I'll put a couple million, I'll pay the gas fees to be able to go there and pay uh, and use the token swap site to do that. But right now, yeah, you know, they'll, they'll keep that token swap site around for, for a while. Um, but if you want to ignore the fees and keep it on an exchange, again, it's probably fine. But that is as what I'm doing. Otherwise, uh, blah, blah, blah. Justin, he can send us go. That's amazing. Uh, David Shaw says, how much OMI do you own, Randy? 116.5 million. Marco Secret says, uh, yucky, golden. What do you think about it, Randy? You think it'll be a big 626 editions? Golden Bunny was 4K and second they dropped to 2K. And they announced more bunnies, but instead they did that. Looks cool. Um, I think it looks cool. Um, I don't have one. Not going to get one because I'd, I'd rather put the funds into other things that I that I like. But again, it only takes a couple hundred people to say, like, I really want one. And then to be able to go and get one, especially on OpenSea. You have some people that are going to hodl. You have some people that are going to be like, that want to reset. And you're just going to have some people that are just like, I want the most disgusting vault ever. You know, <laughs> and, and they want and they want that. Um, there you have just some people that like gold. They'll just click, hey, this will go well with gold moments. It would be like one of those things, like, you know, when you see like a, like a, a cat in with like meerkats it's like one of us does not belong it would really be interesting to see a you know the golden rabbit and the golden yucky in with the golden moments and be like it's been 36 days they haven't noticed that i'm not one of them type of deal and uh alex a is what i think about going superman today thank you so much alex a for that super chat uh i think that is well deserved for superman he's been kind of too far down for too long and he'll probably be again there's a retrace you know fine uh, but but he'll probably he's one of the the a chips that I, that I see here on the, on the one of the blue chips one of the really things that you really want um yeah so and, and he's staying pretty steady right now he was at 44 went down to 43 but again he didn't drop down to like 37 losing hundreds of dollars after that after the pump it's just staying pretty steady right now which is which is very good what you like to see John says hey Superman pumped hard overnight got at three five before the rise took your advice of sometimes buying at an all-time high isn't such a bad idea thanks problem patrick hancock is thinking of flipping a low 100 mint ultra rare spidey for a todd thoughts um i've thought about that as well considering i do have a sub 100 ultra rare spidey as well but right now the ultra rare, the sub 100 ultra rare spideys are currently not they're, they're 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 undervalued so if you try to go and uh put one you're gonna have to make yours even more undervalued like right now, there's currently 6,500. Uh, that is the floor price. So let's say 12, let's say 25k for the sub 100s, and you can get several. You can get numbers 67, 78, and 79 for all that price or under. Uh, so you would have to go and sell yours for let's say like maybe 22, and don't forget that eight and a half percent fee. So figure another. Um, oh wow, that's yeah, that's a lot. So figure another like 15, 1700, whatever uh, off of that, you're actually only going to get 20K for that, which is, you know, a about 3X the price 
uh, which I think you should be able to get a lot more. But if you do want that, you know, you can get, you can get two Todds. You know, you can you, you could be able to get, well, I guess you could re-get a normal uh, Ultra Rare Spider-Man and then get a Todd as well. And, and it, you know, it's not a bad time to get another Todd right now because he is at 7680 and he was at 80. Actually, that's really not a bad idea. I won't do it because I don't want to try to play games, but again, it's, it is not a bad idea. Um, you Friday or the first next week. Thank you so much. Hey, there's somebody that I uh, went money to like a while ago, still paying me off, but I will get a payment on that this uh, this next week. So that is very nice. What should I do with it? Borrow me? Huh? Uh, thinking of flipping a low. Oh, yeah, I just read that. Um, we got over here. Tony Rod saying, still think Riso is better than well, long term? Yes. Uh, I, I think they are. Inter I think it's very close, but I do think, yeah, I, you know, we got a Riso. I got one. Um, Justin says, we need a <laughs> Superman. Um, I don't know if that will happen. And again, Superman, I don't think ever really came out as gay. It was his son that was bi. So I don't think we would get him on the, I don't think we would get him in the, uh, in VV, that, that particular one. I don't think that would happen. Superman says, uh, hey, Superman, does Dan Spoda Panda just put out an interesting video with information on VV commercial in China and the link with Ultra just letting people know uh, not many people have seen the video. It said Dance Buddha Panda. I'll take a look. Dance Buddha Panda. Hey, come on. Um, so I am not seeing a Dance Buddha Panda. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ultraman hype. Um, so yeah, I guess the undervalued collectibles is around 700 and 600. They are crazy about Ultraman. So catch, catch up. All right. So it does seem that China, China's official Xinjiao news agency announces the release of first news digital collectibles. Activity. Sorry again. They are supporting the NFT activity in the Chinese by the China. So what is this? This is the community could do anything. Oh, and I do have some. This website. To this website. No harm to it. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they are starting to promote Disney and Disney related stuff. So that is very, very good. I think localization is probably eminent. Again, I, I if based on that, I would say we would get localization in Q1. I would say we would be able to get it within this. Um, within this next couple of months because we do have the um the swap going on end of january we do have the listings probably taking place in february or at least starting to take place in february and then march i i still would think that they would be able to focus on the listings in march as well and but um but if localization i was not expecting this until q2 and i'm still not i but i guess they could if they're already starting to advertise over there but again, that those are that hasn't isn't actually Disney itself. It is just the news articles that are reporting on it. Um, but maybe Disney kind of let them leave. I don't know. That is exciting though. That is very exciting. BBTV, uh, GT is lucky to grab a Superman at one point one. Very nice. Very nice. Superman says goes up, baby. Azo says, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's Adventure Time. Adventure Time. No, well, in the rise of Ultraman, the first Marvel NFT on VV. I mean. There are a couple of people that look like that look at it like that, but that is a pretty small minority. Everyone pretty much agrees that it's Marvel. But again, there's some people that oh, I technically and um, yeah. Uh, la, 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 la. Chris Luke says, "What do you think about Marvel Comics number one? Ultra rare, underrated? Yes." Nick Brett says, "So when are we supposed to do the swap for Omi to Womi? I don't think you're not supposed to do it for Omi to Womi. If you want to, so from Womi to Omi." Um, the swap where you're supposed to be able to go and do that to an exchange or to the app will take place on the uh, last week of January. It doesn't say, I think that Ultra Rare Loki is extremely undervalued, has the same animation as Secret Rare. I think you're correct. And I don't know if it was you or somebody else posted that yesterday that they, uh, the only thing missing is just like a different sound or some type of sound. So let me go to the 
over here and see at the where's oh my god where's my alligators okay there we go um if the secret rare took any more of a beating and went down nah so 26 i'd say if it went back down to like 22 i'd totally get another one um but alligator loki yeah it's a 290 um which which again i after the fall of the the secret rare i would expect uh i wouldn't expect much of the ultra to fall but but it did it it was at 350 so it's probably pretty good and it's the only marvel ultra rare that you can get below 300 um every single other ultra rare including the zombie captain america is above three unless something changed yeah he's 329 and he's not animated and there's more of him uh and and the throg there is a lot less of him you know 2080 uh, but he's at 424. Good times, good times. Can't wait for that. All right, so moving on here. Uh, it's not what's happening. Lomi is wrapped only from before. We're switching Go Chain to Omi RC20. Right, Go says, in the future, I can take them out of Vivi. Uh, most likely, they will have interoperability. They'll be able to go to other places, maybe in MetaMask, maybe in other platforms. Um, I think so. With Macari, are Coke NFTs on OpenSea already? If so, aren't they technically undervalued because they wouldn't be one of the first to go? I don't know if they are. Um, I do know that ours are first edition and not first appearances, so I, they, they probably are already. Uh, that I said, was, uh, at where's McCurry? That's a good point. Definitely a possibility. And were you in Kent, Randy? That's where I'm from. Uh, I don't know where. I, I just know it's not too far away from London. I, again, I, I don't know where. It was years ago. My friend Jadine lives there and Good times. <laughs> All right. Um, Sean Hansen says, only prediction for the day of migration. I don't know. You know, I think, some, I think some people might try to be taking profit at some point that have been here for a couple of years since point zero 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 four. you know, and it's like, all right, to a penny, and they might take profit on the way up. Um, yeah. But uh, who knows? We, he who shall not be named, you know, um, Gen Bazinga uh, will probably at one point try to pump this as well. Um, price manipulation has been had for the last couple of months because whales could. Whales with hundreds of millions, if not billions of Omi could just dump whenever they wanted, cause everyone to panic sell. As they do, they scoop up the cheap ones, really, really cheap. They're able to go and say, hey, I want to put in a 50 million sell order, 30 million sell order, 100 million sell order. And then as everyone starts to panic to try to get in before that, um, the price goes down, uh, he takes it off. And then the whales can come in and scoop it up for super cheap. That's been happening for a long time. But now, as things are about to get pumping, there is a decent chance that whales are like, hey, uh, you know, how do you become a whale? You're probably not stupid. Um, you go and you say, hey, you know what? And now I'm going to pump it because now it makes sense. Because your power, as you get on more exchanges, the power gets taken away from you. And you just don't have the ability to do that anymore. It's like when uh, Doctor Strange goes to... Um, wherever the one that who lends him his magic and then he gets a really giant depowering like a debuffing because they wouldn't let him uh borrow their magic anymore so he can still do stuff but not as much um at that point it does make sense for whales to say pump it pump it up um because then that just pumps their own bags and then they would maybe sell when they actually want to take profit um but so I don't know I don't know what the price would be on the migration day because again it will take a, a, a like a week a couple weeks Andrew Chang says, Joe D or Nightwing? Nightwing. Um, Super Duper Hank says, Hi, Randy. I'm about to invest 10K into VV app, but I think I will only focus on buying uh, Mickey Steamboats, common and uncommons, and one ultra rare. What do you think? What do you think, bro? Um, I think that I would put Steamboat Willie in the A tier. Um, there are very few collectibles that I'd put in the S tier, but the A tier, I think, would be, um, would, it would have Steamboat Willie in it. Uh, just because of the, uh, just because of the historical significance of it, you know, the ultra is animated, and you know, my cousin that had said that it um, messaged me and says, hey, you know, I'm gonna get a, you know, a common a common steamboat Willie because we're a Disney family. I don't know that she had ever really watched the old steamboat Willie cartoons or was really nostalgic for it, but just because they are that Disney family, they got that steamboat Willie. Because there aren't really many other options. Again, Golden Moments, there's actually only three. Because I don't really count the Marvel, the Star Wars, or the Pixar. 
Uh, the only ones I really count are Elsa and Mickey's hat, and then the partner statue, and those are pretty out of reach. Uh, at least the partners is. Uh, the And the Steamboat Willies are really just the ones that uh, people can afford right now. So, and, and again, we did have this one guy uh, on Twitter that bought 100 Mickey commons. Now, granted that that was when it was about like two, three hundred dollars. I think the ones now are like four hundred. But either way, that is still about a forty thousand dollar bet on this one thing. I have not put forty thousand dollars into any one collectible. So, yeah, there are people that have much, much, much conviction on it, uh, and I would think that it's probably a very good, probably very good long term. John Petlaka says, hey, Super Duper Hank, just buy three Superman. Mickey is in first appearance and lots of additions. I mean, again, I put Superman and Mickey in, in, in the kind of the same A tier. I do think that Superman will probably go up higher. They'll have more. But uh, again, Mickey, Steamboat, you know, that ultra area is the animated. So it is very nice. Uh, lots of addition. Uh, Sniper says Starfire was out before Ritmo and is kind of animated. So she's the first animated. Um, everyone says Ritmo. I mean, again, it's it's really just her hair that's kind of like animated. It's like, um, I don't know if people are going to, I mean, technically the DeLorean, well, you could drive the DeLorean around. Oh no, that wasn't, I don't think that was first though. You're right. You're right. Um, I think that at some point we'll be able to go and say, Hey, um, that, that I don't want to say, I, I, don't, I don't know how much that really matters to some people. Oh, it's the first one. That's out. I mean, right now, maybe it will. Um, and there, maybe that's going to be one of those debates, um, in in the future you know like uh you know like who shot first um it'll be one of those who was the first animated well technically you know starfire she would like if you touch her like maybe her hair like kind of glows and glistens but um but ritmo actually does do an animation sequence so it's probably just up to the people that there's gonna be probably be two camps uh and they'll fight it'll be like you know uh tweety tweety versus sylvester like which one's gonna which one's gonna win we don't know Ed says, I feel more comfortable if Vivi had second. Yeah, I would as well. If they had a second uh, 2FA instead of email, I, I would also. And that's why I'm not putting, you know, like tens of millions of Omi on there. I might put like three just because of that reason. Because um, it's not as secure. And they will probably do that eventually. But that they said that's not a priority right now. I was like, oh, man, let them get through the token swap first. Let them get through listings. Let them get through. They haven't mentioned the Vivi verbs in months. So... Um, let them get through everything, and then, yeah. yeah, I know, I know it's rough. I feel the same way. Ed says, "I feel more comfortable if oh, I just read that." Sam Mikado says, uh, "That's true." Ritmo bought the wow factor of the community. Also true. Nerd Chaman says, "Good morning, Randy. Good morning." Dolan Duck says, "Do you think withdrawal fees from the exchanges after the swap will be super high compared to now?" I think the withdrawal fees, um, the swap will be super. I don't know. On BitForex, apparently it's 1.3 OMI to withdraw right now. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty much nothing. Um, but in the future, oh, who knows? Oh, sure. So, do I expect another gem squeeze? There might be one when MTL is rolled out, but because they're rolling it out very slowly, uh, I don't expect too much. I think Pokemon will be if that's announced first. That's going to be the last gem squeeze. Um, you know, maybe people in Star Wars, maybe Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, but if Pokemon comes out first, that is going to be the ultimate gem squeeze. And that would probably be the last. Unless they come out with, you know, Pokemon saying, okay, well, here's, we, here's the, um, here's the Pikachu, here's like the starters, and then they go do another one like a month later, evolutions, and they can do the evolutions, and they do another one later saying, the secret rare, the legendaries, and then you get Moltres, Articuno, uh, Zapdos, um, you know, and then you get the secret rares of, you know, Mewtwo and Mew. I think that'd be pretty cool. I did miss a Patreon member shout out, so I'm gonna do that right now. Um, I did. She's a girl all the bad guys want. She's watching wrestling, trying to be a tough guy, listening to rap metal, turntables in her eyes. Like a bad movie, she's looking groovy. If you were me, then you'd be... Okay. Um, that was, uh, was that Bowling for Soup? I think, uh, yeah, Bowling for Soup mood today. Also, everyone, you know, as a little intermission here, 
Check out at Hey David Don on the Twitter. That is one of the best people to go and follow. Also at EQ underscore crypto at Wet Wizard. Vivi is, are also amazing people to follow. You got AfroDroidLegends.org, YouStayGlassy.store, and WoundedWarriorProject.org if you have extra monies. And on the YouTube, similar to me, you have Kyle Wilson, Wendy Stabalis, Golden Assets, Puddin' Cheeks, Vivi Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis. Mars Davis did a video about me. Uh, and Legacy of Bermuda on the YouTube. And on the app, if you want to follow Chubby Cat 5 you can totally go to uh, uh, the Steve Rogers musical, look at number 45, and find me there. Stand Off Chart is my hero. You can either uh, go and search him, or you can go and look at the Secret Rare Spider-Man. He has his listed for 69420 which I think is great. Um, so yeah, follow him there. Now where was I? Um, the pump factor, oh, do you think it'll be worth getting a Starfire one rare for set? Yeah, I think Starfire is good. I think she's, she's great. Um, I'd probably get her at some point. I had her, I had her already. C15 says, did you get some sleep, real Randy Chavez? Yeah, yeah, I got like five and a half hours. Um, I woke up and then Obi was pumping. I was like, oh my God. You know, I woke up, you know, that I, I knew something was happening with Tesla last night, but then I just saw it this morning. I really went into it and I was like, this is... This is stupid. Then Earth 2, Tier 2 jewels were happening. I was like, oh my god, they, I gotta go live. I wasn't I wasn't planning on it. I wasn't expecting to. Um, but I did, because their news needed to be going over, and we needed to do things, and I needed to get up my YouTube hours, because um, I'm trying really, really hard to get a lot of subscribers to grow, grow the hobby, grow the platform, in case anyone has any questions. If they missed my three streams yesterday, they can come here right now. How many ghost bears do you have? I just have the set. I don't have really anything crazy. The end says opinion on Storm Secret Rare. Thinking of buying one. I think right now is a very good time to buy Secret Rare Storm because she is currently she was at three thousand dollars, and you can get her for twenty three hundred uh, or twenty three yeah twenty three hundred right now. You know I bought her yesterday at twenty one eighty give or take because again she was at three thousand dollars at one point. So to come down here I think is very very good. Um, She's not like someone that, like, uh, like a fad. This is a, um, you know, let's say, like, Alligator Loki might be. She is a um, one that stood the test of time. First African-American uh, woman in Marvel Comics. And you have the, um, you know, you have the, she'll be in Black Panther 2. In the comics, she's actually going to be Black Panther, which is just nuts. Moving on. Terrence Green says, I bought a Jason Fabic and a Gary Frank and Marvel 1 after your amazing stream last night. Brilliant, amazing, wonderful. Ah, why, thank you. Why, thank you so much. I love you guys. Sniper says, Marvel Comic number one, what price would you pick it up at? Like, Secret Rare or Common? Or I, I, don't, I think right now, everything but the Secret Rare is probably a pretty good buy. Um, I, even the Secret Rare is a good buy, but it's so much money. So much money. So I was... Um, Nerd Shaman says, everyone smash that like button. Oh, yes, listen to the Nerd Shaman. Uh, smash that like button would be great. Jerry uh, Kuvarabaya says, should I scoop up a Joe Mad or a first appearance Joker? Though that is, that is hard because, you know, Joey Mad, you know, people like Joker more than like Joey Mad, who's that, you know, but Joey Mad is part of that first set. That is very, very good. Um, let's see what the Joker is going at. I, I do think Joker and first appearance Harley Quinn. I assume you mean Jim Lee, the Joker, that first appearance. Um, you know, he was at twelve hundred at one point. He's at ten fifty right now. I think long term, it's probably a pretty good buy. Um, but both both are good. Um, both are very good. I, I think the Joey Mads probably might out outperform just because of that first set that people are going to want. But I don't know that one hundred percent. Peter VDB, what's up? What's going on? Uh, the OP says, like in the hoodie, Randy. Oh, why, thank you. Why, thank you. Also, if there's a couple people that might be here that was here last night slash early this morning that got me to dance. I don't know how they did that, but they did. Yeah, it was crazy. They, we had like karaoke going on. I think that's why my throat is not gone. Uh, and thanks for liking the hoodie. Red Ghost says, Randy, what do you think the Captain America Secret Rare 6K, almost like Spidey, uh, where should be Deadpool Secret Rare compared? All right, hold on. Let me try to read this. What do you think about the Cap America Secret Rare? 6K, almost like Spidey, ultra rare. Where should Deadpool be? Where should Deadpool Secret Rare be compared to your Spidey Ultra Rare? A little later, when all who stake him will sell him. What are your thoughts? I don't think I think people like him because they like um 
Well, Cap was at 6'6", six, six, and I went down to 5. He went down to, like, 5 some. I'm trying to think. Cap, what was Cap at? Cap was at something really cheap. Because he was at 6'6", six, six, if it's him at... Oh, my God. He's at 4'7". 47.50, but still. I don't have the, I don't have anything to sell. I don't have the gems. Um, four seven. I'm 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 trying to do something here. This may or may not work out. I don't know. If it works out, it works out. But this is um, well. I can't sell the Loki's. I can't. Oh my God! I don't have any multiples. I don't want to sell the Throgs. I don't want to sell the Groats. Should I sell one Groot? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't even work. I need. I need something that is. Man, that's not good. I don't want to sell my. I don't want to say. Well, I'm. I just. I'm gonna sell this Harley Quinn for a loss here, and if I can sell the Harley Quinn for a loss, I'll sell my extra large for a loss, and. Ugh, I hate selling things for loss, but again, to to buy the. Captain America Secret Rare for four seven when it was at six six, is probably a pretty good buy. Probably something that, but again, the Harley Quinn is currently not selling, um, so I might be driving the price down. I did put it for seven twenty five. That is twenty five dollars lower. I do think she is a good buy because she was at nine forty eight. Um, like I, I'm actually selling her for exactly where I bought her, but with the fee, I will actually wind up losing money. Um, all right, so I sold the Harley Quinn, um, and this one, which is at five twenty nine, I'm going to sell this in the market for. For ninety nine, and I'm gonna take that like fifty sixty dollar loss on it, which is not terrible. Um, actually, that in conjunction with the fact that I only have forty one hundred, and that'll only sell for five for like four plus. I will have to put in more gems, so I will go and get more gems. Yes, I understand. All right, I sold the funds back in white. Okay, no, I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go right towards the Captain America. I swear, if anybody has bought those, I will murder people. No, not really. Uh, oh, I hate you. I hate you all so I hate you all so much. I hate you all so much. Um, you guys are you guys are good, I'm not gonna lie. You guys are very good. But either way, yes, exit out of there, exit out of there. Okay, I did buy one number 986 at 48 something. Uh, I have 33 gems left, but whoever did that, th that dude, good snipe, good snipe. Whoever had that, like, oh, good for you. Um, so what I did wind up doing is getting the, paying 48.95 instead of 47.50. So whoever you were, you cost me an extra $145. Not gonna lie. I. Yeah, um, but I I did that because again when 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 a Captain America Secret Rare is at sixty six hundred dollars and goes back to forty seven forty eight like that's that's lunacy that's lunacy um, even now at five k again it's sixteen hundred like again so so we did really good the pickups here that we just got um, that that is in my opinion very very strong um, again there's only a thousand of them and I have three. I did not. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that at all. Um, yeah, that's that is that is really good. We we are doing we are doing well. We're doing good things. There are times I have to get Adventure Time at some point. That's my friend's pen showroom. Uh, went to school with him for animation. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's fantastic, Nerd Shaman. Um, Anthony Cervantes has got my Superman at 900 flipped into a palindrome right now for $100, hyped, just need a Todd and Walt to complete my Grail collection film, uh, FML. Um, well, yeah, Todd and uh, Todd and Walt are very, very expensive, so it's, it's, it's hard. Pine of Vampires localization will likely require another upgrade to the app's back end resources. I hope they're ready or will be back to March of 2021, gaining the app freezes during drops. 
Um, I hope they're ready as well. Hi, Willow Kid. Pound of Vampire says, I'm the only one selling Throg at 424. Want to complete my storm set? I feel you. I feel you. Very nice. Dr. Strange, that hoodie is fire, sir. Well, the, the hoodie like is completely different. Like, There's the jacket and there's the hoodie. The hoodie's a little off, but thank you for complimenting on my fashion. Um, I enjoy the choices also. Red Ghost says, uh, give me advice. I got 1.5 million Omi and 1 million I want to hold for a long, uh, Randy, give me advice. So 1.5 million Omi. Okay. Okay. 1.5 million. And 1 million I want to hold for a long for $1. Where better to keep it? Have it on the app and stake. Uh, we'll give me staking them or have it on the exchange. Um, I mean, if you wanted to get onto some tiers and, and stake, you will be able to do so and then sell your collectibles for Omi, if you wish. So there are some benefits to doing that. But if exchanges do offer APY, no matter how little, it might be better to do that. I, I really don't know until the exchanges come out with their things. Hughes Albert says, we have no volume exchange. Uh, we have no volume exchange doesn't buy, brother. I, I, I don't know. We have no volume Exchange doesn't buy, brother. Exchanges do buy. Yes, they do. Uh, Wag me. We all going to make it. It says, good morning, Randy. What's going on? Earth Germ says, uh, Steamboat Willie is no brainer long term. Agreed. Your Patriot says, going to buy more throgs for the memes. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Throg meme. Super Duper Hank says, John Petlakis, common Superman. What? Common Superman? I don't know. Um, Steve O'Brien says, what's up, brother? What's going on? Uh, Timo Timo says, are Omi safe store in the VV, app, VV wallet? Uh, what when VV block profiles with Omi on it? So currently, if you have a, in the VV wallet, again, VV is not in a normal, like, exchange. Like, they, we know the people running it. We know that they're very good people, and they're good-hearted, and they'll probably help us if anything were to go awry. So it is probably safe in there. But again, just because they don't have that second two-factor authentication is why I am hesitant and only putting a little bit in, but that is just me. I am paranoid. Omi Bromi says, do you see Omi breaking 0 0.008 with this current rise? I think when we go, when we grow like 40 something percent, uh, you know, from 0 0.0048, maybe not 40 something, but oh, let me check. In a couple of days, we go from 0 0.048 times point. Yeah, when we, when we grow about 40% in two days, I think it is reasonable to expect a little bit of a pullback. Um, you know, we've been at 0 0.0084 a couple times. Um, and with that, I, I mean, I do expect to do it again right now. I don't know. Um, I mean, if I see this blast through like 69, um, I'm going to comment nice down below for 69. If I do see that, then I would expect, okay, then we'll go to 7.2, 7.5, give or take. Um, but again, like like I said, you know, we were at 6, we were at 6.8, you know, and we're down at 6, 6, uh, 6, 6 right now. So again, after going really, really high, I did, I was expecting that little pullback. You do really like to see that, give the stock or give the uh, coin a chance to breathe, give it, give it a little chance before the next buy-ins. Um, yeah, I, I, I do expect that. Moving on. Uh, New York Patriots says no. Stephen O'Brien says Ultraman taken off. Yo! Planet Vampire says, uh, depends how careful you are with security on the devices and the app installed. I mean, that's true. I have two FA for my email and I have, you know, crazy passwords for them. So it's, I'm pretty secure with it. Huge Patriots says, but I hope I'm wrong. Carlos Castro Holmes says, maybe some gem squeezes for anime stuff. I, I think even with like Dragon Ball Z, which I would love. I would love like, you know, uh, Vegeta, Goku, Piccolo, you know, like Teen Gohan, um, Frieza. Yeah, like uh, Sal. Yeah, like that'd be amazing stuff. Um, but is that gonna? Is there enough anime fans to to have a gem squeeze? I I really don't know. We'll we'll test it this Saturday. On Thursday we'll get an announcement. On Friday we'll get the medium article with the numbers. But yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what happens. Richard Samuel. Oh, what's going on? 
Timo Timo says, Vivi is uh, blocking profiles even when people do not use bots. What if you got Omi in your wallet? Is it safe to store? Uh, Vivi only does that when there are when people get caught in the crossfire of people using bots or people doing things that they're not supposed to. And uh, people that do no wrong are that is rectified eventually. Um, but I yes, I 100% believe it's safe to store. But again, no, no, you know, not your keys, not your wallet, not your, you know, not your crypto. I think it's safe for me to put a few million, but it really depends on you. Um, depends if if you say like, nope, I only want it in my trust wallet. I only want it in, you know, in my, my cold storage wallet, by all means. Um, we got a super chat coming in from Yegg's Y saying, 2023 price prediction for each Batman black and white series. <sighs> okay, well, this is a bit of work. Um, so I'm going to say end of, so I'm going to say January 1st. Um, that, that first set will be $100,000. Um, that, that first set will be $100,000. So, oh my God. For the other ones, season two, I know you have the Carmine Infantino, which is kind of okay. Um, maybe that reaches like, again, that Joker is good too. That first appearance Joker. So the first appearance Joker in co combined with the Carmine Infantino. Again, every set has a couple of really good things in it. Um, so maybe that goes to 15, 15K? Because again, the Carmine Infantino, there's not a ton of them. So maybe maybe t maybe 12, 12K, 10, 12K? Uh, the Batman Black and White Series 3 does have that first appearance of Harley Quinn. She is, I think, a little undervalued right now. Because um, again, she wasn't 948, she's a 715. But it also has a first appearance of Penguin. And he's at almost $1,000. Got that Amanda, Con Amanda Connor Batman. What's he at? 1600 um so that dude does have pretty solid things and i would say uh, like 8 to 10k uh the batman black and white series 4 really the only thing making that set is the dick grayson but to be honest that's really all you need most of the things will probably come out of that i, I think most of the actual value will come i can't see what it is right now it's still spinning um i'll try to go again <clears throat> He's at 2300 I fully expect him, him to be like 10 k by himself. Uh, the Batman Black and White, it's 5. I don't really like that Robin. I know the Batman um, uh, Who Laughs is pretty good, but he's only at 165 Let's see what the Robin's at. The Damian Wayne, he's at 172 Yeah, I don't, I don't see... Uh, I don't see that going too high. Maybe like 4 or 5 k um, so those are my predictions on the Batman black and white sets by the end of the year or January 1st. Now, where was I? Ow. Mm. Zach says, I wouldn't buy anything right now. A lot of people still can't list, so these floors aren't stable. I mean, you know, when, when someone was 6,600 and they go down to 48, 49, 5, 5k, I'm going to buy there. Um, even if... And again, I again I listed the Harley Quinn, and I listed the Kong like no problem. And I bought the Kong this morning, like I bought those little ladies this morning. So, um, I, I think it's only with certain people. I think it's only with certain things. If, I mean, if if you have if you have Captain America, go down to like four K, I'll sell my Eddie Riso again. I'll sell sell the other one at a discount. I'll buy them all. Like that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Again, especially considering where he was. Um, yeah, moving on here. Uh, Cloud, Cloud Track says, at Zach, I do think once everyone regains access, the floors will dip because the only people that have lost access are the flippers. Um, I mean, I mean, I just, I don't, how many of them can't go it, can't do it because I have, um, because I currently have, I bought that Kong thing this morning and I sold them like right now. Like, I, I literally bought them when I first got up, which was, not, like, a few hours ago. Um, like, not even three hours ago. So, I, I don't know how long you have to wait, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, we got BB Las Vegas saying, go, Randy and Omi. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, mode to code says, Earth 2. Earth 2. Earth 2. Zach says, Cloud Check, I agree. 
Vtech Finance says, agree with you on California. Very sad. I know. That is rough. Fraser Crane says, do you think NFTs have potential to disrupt conventional lending? For example, a whale lending 40K uh, at sub-banking interest rate with secret rare Spidey as collateral sort of negates credit agencies and banks. I agree. Um, you know, if somebody wants to borrow my, uh, if someone wants to borrow, let's say, let's say secret rare Spider-Man is like 100K and I will let, I will totally let someone borrow 40,000 gems and I'm holding their, um, uh, and I'm holding their, uh, their thing. We'll agree on a set interest rate, a set price that'll be put into the smart contract. And if it is paid, great. I get some interest. They get that, they get their collectible back. If it is not, then, uh, I get to keep their collectible. That's how they do it in, um, in homes. That's how they do it in, in, uh, pawn shops. How they do it. So uh, with homes, yeah, you know, equity lines of credit, if they have, you know, let's say um, a $500,000 house and they have $200,000 equity into it, well, they'd probably give 40% or 50, even 50% loan to value and they would give about 100K. And it is a paperwork and it sucks, but that's what you got to do. Young Bruce Wayne says, LOL. Dan Anand says, I sold my ultra rare Spidey at 4,800. I'm thinking to ape in on four first appearance jokers to ease my pain. Long term, probably not bad. C15 says, what's your strategy for mass collection program points? I have none. I'm just gonna, you know, anything I wanna buy, I'll just get with Omi. Rogelio Martinez says, what are you taking profits on recently, Randy, if you're selling? Actually nothing. I took losses on that Harley Quinn and that, um, I took losses on the Harley Quinn and I took loss on that, that Kong. Um, it was like $100 on both, yeah, or $100 total for both, you know, including the fees, maybe even less, but then, when I saw that, I can't believe one of you bought that. Well, who was it? Who I will I will shake your hand because that was a good move. But someone bought that from underneath me, and yeah, it was good. I'm not really taking profits on anything though. That was said uh, absolutely, and that's the way it's heading. The SEC will come for crypto big time though. Long term, it's inevitable. I mean, they could try. I mean, that you know, like nothing's going to stop Bitcoin. Nothing's going to stop this. I mean, we've been very good with regulatory again when you're partnered with the united states postal service and you have that government not in your back pocket but at least you have hey look at us um probably doing pretty well rip curls has a really huge move on hawk girl ultra rare and first appearance um ultra low mint thoughts i really enjoy her um i loved her from the uh justice league the animated series justice league unlimited i think she is fantastic i think she's really great um ow my eye <laughs> um but a lot of people don't like her. I don't know. I don't. I get it. The comics is like, you know, maybe. But, um, you know, she hasn't really been in media in a while. Maybe she'll be in the next Wonder Woman. I don't know. But we have a $5 super chat from Troll Games. Like, dang, Randy, you, do you go to sleep or take breaks? Enjoy your content. Keep it coming. Yeah, I do. And actually, my next break, Troll Games, message me on Twitter. Link down below. Because you won a comic yesterday from... Uh, from Mr. Pags, and of course, Stephen Gwynn should also message me because they won a uncommon Captain America, um, the, the Marvel Mighty, anyway. Um, but yeah, so um, Troll Games, com comment, uh, or not comment, uh, message me your QR code and I'll make sure to get you that comic. So congrats on that. Willow Kid, is Ultraman Ace about to pass Ido, Ido Floor 1189, Ace Floor 1150? Oh! The pass into the torch. Little kid, ow, says, hope you all stacked up on some Ultraman. I did not. Uh, Rip Curl says, female member of Justice League. Hawk girl. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Little kid says, that jacket is so fresh. Why, well, thank you. Bowser represent. <sighs> Jerry, uh, C15 says, yeah, Hawk girl's going up for sure. Holding my sub 200. Oh, nice. Poba G says, hey man, just started a YouTube because of VV channels like you. How do you feel about Recur? Um... I wish for their success, and they probably will be successful. They will probably go and... Uh, they'll be bigger than Terra Virtua. They'll be bigger than Quid. Currently, right now, as far as specific NFT projects go, I would consider them a very distant number two. The distance between... Let's say the distance between... Um, number two which is um which would be re recur and again they haven't really done anything yet but th they're about to um with the money and the backing that they have 
I'd say the distance between number two and number three and four, like Quid and Terra Virtua, are probably the distance between the moon and the earth. But then the distance between um, number one and number two, meaning VV and Recur, is probably the distance between Mars and the moon. So I would give it, um, they're ahead of their competition, uh, but we are in our own league. We have no serious competition yet. But again, I do wish that them all the success because they have a, um, you know, they have big names attached to them. And as people get into it, like, oh, hey, I like that because they like Gary Vee, because I like the Winklevoss twins, uh, or maybe they like some of the licenses that they have, they're going to go on uh, Google and they're going to research, hey, what other NFTs can I get? And they'll make their way to Vee eventually. So their success is our success. Um, I'm I, and, it, and that is good for the hobby. So, yes. Aria Investments says, we love you, Randy. Oh, we love you too, Aria. Everyone, shout out down below to Aria Investments because he is the one that to help me get all of my Omi that I had. 116.5 million Omi did go through him to get to me. Young Bruce Wayne says, Hawk Girl Pumpin'. Troll Game says, Morning, Randy. What a good buy right now in your opinion. Well, that, that, uh, that, uh, that Captain America was a great buy. So I bought one live on, on the screen here. Um, and even at 5K, it's still $1,600 below of where it was. You know, I do like, I, Go buy at Harley Quinn right now, first appearance. It, again, it was at 9.48 the other day. It's currently at 7.10 right now, or at least it was. That is good. Um, first appearance Joker is not bad. Um, Secret Rare Storm, Secret Rare Deadpool. And then, as always, you know, I think long-term, for me, this is the, the higher risky one. The, again, Groots are very good, but the, but the higher risky one, if you want to play that game, is the Alligator Lokis. The Ultra Rares are 2,700. Um, but they were a lot higher at 4K. At, oh, I'm sorry, that was the Secret Rares. The Ultra Rares are 285. They were, again, at one point higher at 350. Uh, the Commons have been blowing up recently. Um, they are, you know, they're down to 61. They were up to 69. They're down to 61, but they were at $35 literally three or four days ago. So they've had a meteoric rise by themselves. Willow Kids is nice, 69. Billy Bob Bitcoin says, blast through 69. <laughs> Is that what they used to call you in high school? Ah. Okay, I'm sorry. That was uh, that was that was too good. Just uh, call me in high school. Okay. Uh, Red goes. Randy, you didn't answer. What do you think the Captain America Secret Rare was? Six point six, like Spidey. Oh, do you think it was like Spidey, where um where sh um. Where should where should Deadpool see where be compared to Spidey? Or a little later, uh, when all his stake will sell. Um I don't think there's a correlation between Deadpool and Spidey, like, oh Spidey's here, Deadpool should be here. I think they are in their own kind of universes there. Now do I think Secret Rare Deadpool will ever overtake Ultra Rare Spidey? No. Probably not. Um it's but so I don't think there's that relationship, but I do think that um Secret Rare Deadpool is undervalued, but the six point K your cap just one K. It's like Spidey Ultra Air. Well Spidey Ultra Air, how much is that right now? Let's take a look see. Oh, that's a six point five. Um oh that's really good. Um good, good for them. Good for that one. Or at least that was the ultra rare. Secret rare is a bit higher. So there is a at one point we had 50 of these now there's 71 of these on sale i also don't have two of those secret rares i'm just holding one for somebody um so there are many people willing to sell but the people willing to sell is at that higher price so actually this is good a lot of people are agreeing that they are not going to sell for 50 or 53k they would probably not sell for a lot higher um but yeah i, I wouldn't compare spidey uh to, to secret rare to I don't compare Deadpool, Secret Rare compared to Spidey, just because they're two different universes. They're two different. They're two different things. I mean, again, they're same Marvel universe, but I mean, they're two different. You know, they they do not have a symbiotic relationship. Um, or a little later, when all who stake him will sell him again. I don't. If if you have him, I don't know if you're really gonna want to sell him, if especially if only have one. Well, Bobo says, "What do we get in this Saturday?" We're not 100 percent sure yet. Many people are speculating Sue Storm. I'm speculating Monica Rambeau from the Wandavision series. Um, 
but Sue Storm would be cool as well. Yeah, why thank you for that five dollar super chat saying my 2023 price prediction for Batman Black and White series. Um, I did give you those. I think season one is definitely going to be the best, and then season two, season three, season four, season five, five down there. Carlos says, "How long has this live stream been going for? Only about an hour forty. Really, not that long." Um, we got another comment saying, "So is it confirmed that there will be anime drop this Saturday?" No, there was no, there was no confirmation for that. Pova says, "Thoughts on Wally?" Some uh, a lot of people like them, um, especially with the new movie maybe coming out might be good for it. But I don't, you know, I I think it was a hit, but I don't think it was. Yeah, I think for Pixar, I think Toy Story probably would have done a lot better. Um, Wally is liked, you know, but but he's he's not like a big, big 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 thing. Like I I didn't see it. Um, it even Toy Story, which I love those movies. I love those movies. Um, am I going to get them? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not going to get them. Um, I mean, I'll go for them on the drop and I'll sell them, but I'm not going to collect them. I would much rather, again, collect what you like. If you, if you like it, by all means, go and get it. But if you have that, you know, you think it's super undervalued, I think there are a lot of other better things that you can get outside of Wally, right, Meow? And the Nara says, how high do you see Common Loki going? First ever VV purchase was Common Loki, 724, paid 48. Okay, um... Well, the secret rares are very hard to get. There's only 800 of them. They're very hard to get. Eventually, those will be those are outpriced people already at 2,700, even though it was four. And the ultra rare is animated. So, right now, the ultra rare is very affordable. The um, and that and that's the cheapest one you can get, and it's animated. The cheapest ultra rare that you can get, plus it's animated. I think it's pretty undervalued. Um, and the commons are, there's a lot of the commons. There's 9,800 of them. So when you have 9,800 of something, I'm going to, my hair's getting in the way. Um, it does take a lot or it does take a while for things to go and say, uh, for them to rise. But that being said, it was at 35 a couple of days ago. And then I have, again, I don't sell. Not that this should mean anything because I don't have like, oh yeah, I got like 8% of supply. I don't. I do not even have 1% of the supply, but be advised, I do have 83, and what I charge for the fridge is, uh, you know, right now I did change the price to one alligator Loki uh, per month, and that is, you know, um, and that won't change. So people, if they want to be on my fridge, will continue sending me that. So people will each month keep buying that. I will probably each month keep buying that just because I like them. Um, you know, for the freezer, it's different. You know, that, that there's a different price point, but there's always going to be people buying that just because I, I, it sounds so weird when I say I deem it. So, um, just because I, I like it and that's what I charge. Um, I, I, again, I don't know if that's like the greatest investment. I just buy it because I like it. Um, but there is only 261 of them available. So there is less than 3% of them, uh, that are out in circulation that are out that you can buy. Um, so it's pro probably not, not bad. Again, it could go anywhere at any time. You know, if you have five of them, um, and, and then like you say, like you don't you don't really care about it, and say, oh, Pokemon's coming out. Uh, looking at how many people does that represent? How many people have multiple common alligator Lokis, and they're gonna take profit at some point, and then when Pokemon is released, they just dump. Um, be great for me, but yeah, <laughs> um, I I think that is subject to to dumping because again, it's not really a crazy popular thing right now. Although it kind of is a little bit, but but again, I, I think it'll go up in the future, um, long term. But there, there are probably other better things to buy. For I don't know, is there better things to buy? It's really cheap. There's not too much on the app that you can get for under sixty, seventy dollars. Um, a lot of these things are hundreds, if not thousands. Oh God, what is the next one? Troll Game says, "Would you wait until next collectible announcement to buy?" Well, the announcement will be on Thursday, and I currently have 33 gems, so I am hecked. Six ways to Sunday. Um, and, I mean, I guess if, if it's something good and causes a squeeze, then, yeah, people might sell. I mean, there might be someone that Captain America might go back down to 4K. Might go down, you know, I, I think that's stupid, but, um, you know, if he does that and you can get it for $2,600 off, probably. Um, so it's very possible. Augustine, 
uh, Montezuma says, should I get a secret rare Johnny uh, journey into mystery? A second secret rare Storm? Or a second secret rare Captain America? Um, Percentage-wise, I think the journey into mysteries are the best one because those were at 7k at one point. They're down to 35 now. Uh, and then, so they're about 50% off. And then it would go to Storm because yes, even though she only increased, decreased $700, she's only at 3k. Um, whereas Captain America was at 6.6 .6 and decreased 1600. So hers technically is a higher percentage. Um, and it was actually higher at one point, it was $900 uh, or eight, eight something. So it'd probably go Journey into Mystery, Storm, then Captain America. Um, Storm does have that advantage of her being first appearance. Uh, Captain America does not have that, that first appearance, that first um, first appearance or first edition. That being said, I have three Captain America now. Again, I didn't really mean to buy it. I actually like Deadpool better than everyone else. <laughs> and I only have one of him. Um, but yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Our does more says I'm a flipper. I sell 90% of the collectibles I get on the drop. I'm just putting it out there. Wish everyone luck and prosperity. Thank you. You too. You too. Timo Timo says Shark Bite and all the Murmur Cornos season two are slept on. Cheap. Buy. And many points earned for. That's a good point. <laughs> Robert says Tax Man cometh. And then Cervantes says, Randy, you're a savage. I don't have the balls to play with my blue chips. I considered selling my Superman for a few golden sets or aping into the difference in Todd, but the fear of not being able to get them back. Yeah, um, I knew when I sold Superman that I would not be able to get him, most likely would not be able to get him for that price again. And for the first couple days, that wasn't true. I could have got him cheaper, but but now he's, he's you know, over that 4K mark. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be... Um, but again, Superman is cool, and he's nice to look at, but I don't actually like him that much. Uh, I, I, I get more enjoyment out of Alligator Lokis. I'd be like, well, Chavez, long term, don't you think Superman will outperform Alligator Lokis? There's a very good possibility. It is most likely that is true. But I like them more, and I don't know of a group of people that have 800 plus Superman, which would be a little more, or 80, 888 Superman plus, which would be more than 10% of him. But I do know between four people, me included, that have more than 10% of the Alligator Lokis locked up. And yeah. Um, so that is why I did that. I do see a lot of things coming. It is a very risky play, and like I said, Superman is probably going to be uh, the ultimate winner. But there is a big, there is a decent chance that uh, my thing does does play out. But again, I won't. I don't sell, so you know, uh, doesn't really it doesn't really mean anything because uh, again, I don't sell. Um, Troll games with that five dollars super chat. Like, dang, Randy, I should go to sleep or take breaks. Uh, enjoy your content. Keep it coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the goal is to just really help try to educate. Again, think, things need to get... Like last night, I was fully intending to maybe make a video last night, uh, but then when the Omi, Omi swap update article came out, I was like, okay, well, we really need to go and explain this and show people exactly what to do on the article. So I did do that, and then it got silly. I did karaoke. I, I danced. It was nuts. Um, but I did stream for a total of nine hours yesterday. Or no, no. It was eight. So what's five? Uh, it was about eight and a half hours. Uh, so that did really take a toll. Um, so I wasn't going to stream today, but then there's so many things that came out. The Tesla thing, then it came out with the you know the Earth Two tiers, and and the markets was going crazy. Like Omi pumped up like a mother flapper this morning, uh, and also the Walt went up to eighteen eight, real pretty much matching the Riso. Riso went down. So it it things did need to be, and the Yucky Charmer thing I wanted to get over as well, um, and plus also. You know, as I have people paying for this, I really do like to give them uh, their worth. I really do like to give, especially Send Off Chart, who's on there for life. He can never be taken off. Um, I, I really do need to um, give people their money's worth. So it's, it's good to try and do that. Getsy says, hello, hello. What a good day today. And also, as far as people giving their money's worth, that um, Patreon member... You know, uh, that can text. Hey, I'm thinking of closing and I'm completing the Pride set. I know there's a pump and dump recently. This is more of the Rewind Collective and what Givenchy has been announcing. i also considering stacking the Rewind Collective logos. Um, Rewind is good. Art Patron? Patron? Or Art Sing? Can't remember his name. 
signed a $50 million deal back in August to make more NFTs for VV. In case you didn't know that, uh, I'll go and read it for you right now on the art. Yeah, Art Patron was verified on Instagram. Um, it might take a while to see. Yeah, so on August 16th, 2021, he posted, uh, activist Amar Singh and artist Rewind Collective Inc. a 50 million six-year NFT deal with the platform Vivi to sell work celebrating women LGBTQA+. So that did happen in August last year. I did cover it uh, in many different things. I covered it in... Hold on. Why did Standoff Chart send me a collectible? Standoff Chart, if you are here, you did not need to send... You, you, you went for life. Brother, you went for life. You, don't, you do not need to send me any more. But, wow, thank you so much, uh, our, our, um, Standoff Chart. The man, the myth, the legend has just sent me an alligator Loki. Just out of the blue for next to no reason. Um, for, I, I, I assume just no re I just I don't know why. Uh, um, but, um, yeah, that's, um, thank you for that. That, that. that does mean a lot. Um, I'm going to go and take a look now that I have... Eh, where, where am I? Where am I? Again, he totally did not have to do that. Um, he's already on there for life. He's given a lot. Uh, but, yeah, so he's got... Now I have 84 alligator Lokis. Um, but yeah, so art, art Amar, activist Amar Singh, that, and they signed this deal back in, back in August, a $50 million deal. How confident do you think that these giant, uh, that these Akomi uh, CEOs and COOs, how confident do you think they are when they sign a $50 million deal when they're halfway through their first full year um, of pretty much being public? And yeah. They know. They know They know what's going on. So I, I would say I will give a shout out to, uh, that's what I heard. I have my Marvel game slash own the full black and white set. Sold a lot of decom stuff, but wanted to have a fine art set in my portfolio. 7K gem seems high, but I'm in my life of that later. So I'm going to tell him basically, or the, all right, so basically that um, it could do really well on OpenSea. I, Ray Fixie, loves it um i'd say it's a gamble with weighted dice most likely to uh result in your favor he's got three of every common comic wow including spider-man 252 he's got three common 252 spider-mans oh he's only got one of those he's only got one of those um but Got some nice uh, rares, secret rares, grails. Oh, um, Fantastic Four, number one. And number five are great. Great job. Okay. I went on here. Uh, Getsy says, hello, what a good day. It is a good day. Jesse says, Randy, live again. This man never stops. I'm trying my best. Get fit with Rick. Says, hey, bro, I had an option to buy a Todd for 5K USDT today. Shall I do it? I put it in Omi or use that 5K for lower price NFTs. Appreciate your advice. I think that is a very good deal. If you need someone to do an escrow, let me know. Contact me on Twitter. Um, I'll do it for you. But if you know the person, vice versa, then then by all means, uh, 100% go and... Um, yeah, like I said, by all means, go and 100% get that. That's a really good deal. Really good deal. You know, this is 5K is a good price. Todd has already been... Yeah, Todd has been close to 9K before. 5K USDT is very good. Uh, Ten Superman says, yes, sir, Recur will be successful. Confirmed by Randy on one. I hope they are, and I think they will. <laughs> Ten, Ten Superman. Uh, that, that, that's great. That's great. All right, so I'm going to... Now we have Sontank sending me a collectible. Wait, why, why did I get a... Why are people sending me collectibles? I got a Cerulean over here. I got a little see-through pony. That is nice. Um, so we're... Um, oh, so Sauna Tank 3 sent me a Cerulean. I don't know why. I don't know how people are doing this. Um, I know Standoff Chart is my QR code, but Sauna Tank 3 sent me a collectible, and I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, it, I'm going to go to Twitter try to figure out this mystery. 
and try to figure it out. Sauna Tank sent me a snow globe polar bear as well. Um, guys, what are you doing? Guys, what are you doing? I guess, guys, um, and, th and this is 143 gems, and the other one was 60, so he, wow, that is, all right, I, I really have to check the Twitter to see what's going on. Um, imagine how much could change between now and Cinco de Mayo. Thanks, brother. Um, all right, so, is it, so there's not, there's not sauna tank, is there, um, oh, it's all, okay, so, no. Um, oh, okay, I, I, yeah, I'm not, is Sauna Tank? Oh, Sauna Viv sent me a message. <laughs> oh, okay, so, uh, shout out to, uh, Sauna uh, at OmiX2070, who just messaged me, eh. <laughs> uh, I guess he just did that for fun. Uh, so, so thank you for that. So, yeah, he does have my, uh, profile thing there um oh and he's got number 60 of the ultra rare that was nice um wow so yeah uh just being a bro here th thank you so much for the uh, in, for, for the for the things um wow that's cool that is that is good times um <laughs> uh but again i i okay so we know why sauna tank did but why did sandoff chart send me an alligator i don't, I don't understand um <laughs> And Superman says, yes, Rico was successful. Just read that. Sean Hudson says, I wonder when Omi to NFT will be implemented. I don't think that would be implemented until probably Q2. Because, again, they do have the list, the swap to do late January, early February. Listings probably late February, early March. And then continuing with that. I also don't know where, again, the VVverse has not been mentioned in a while. Um, they, they do have... I don't know. They would need to. They have Vault Showroom 3.0. They need to do. Uh, they need to really help uh, Apple iOS users because they 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 can't like. I'm lucky, and I have the. Um, here I have the. You know, go to your wallet. You can have the. I can have the only balance in there, but apparently Apple users don't have that. Um, let me. Um, what's up, buddy? What's up, brother? All right, moving on here. Uh, Get figure says, at DW, it's in USDT, so it's basically floor price currently. Mm -hmm. Dan says, opinion on Marceline from Adventure Time and price prediction. I love that. Um, uh, Mar Marceline is great, and her and Ice King are actually some of my favorites. Profile, profile, profile. Enough, let's go to the store. Adventure Time! So, Marceline... I think is that was, oh man. All right, so it's showing no collectibles, so I got to X out of everything. I got to go back to the VV app. Um, oh, all right. How, I got I got a thing from Sandoff Chart here. He says, sent it for fun, LOL. I said, oh, I love you, man. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's just such a cool dude. And, and again, this man paid a lot to be on my fridge permanently and it's just uh oh, <laughs> love your content oh dude thanks brother um so let me go to the go to the brands i'll go to adventure time i'll check out marceline which again her and ice king is actually my yeah they're, they're really good i like them so there's 8.99 yeah um I'll, I'll buy her when omi moons i'm gonna rebuy the, a lot of sets when omi moons um you know that is that first uh season so that they have the first appearance, it's the first Adventure Time set. The relationship between her and Ice King is very adult for a. It's very adult for a kids, uh, for a kids show. Very very adult. Oh, haha, love you, man. Okay, um, I like her. She'll probably be a couple grand at the end of this year. Um, Brendan Z says I need more Omi. Me too. You know, it says isn't the floor currently a seven point six? Um, yeah, but he's talking about USDT. Like, basically, what you can do is you can buy gems, you know, at, let's say, uh, blah, 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 let's say, like, 30% off, 35% off, give or take. So he's saying that he could buy the gems uh, with that money and then just purchase for the floor price anyway. But this way, he doesn't have to do that. He could just send directly, and that's that. 
Um, Brendan Z, does anyone want to buy the, the NFTs for Homie? Um, I probably wouldn't right now. Um, Homie's about to take heck and off. C15 says, can't wait for Dragon Ball Z, where you can collect Goku and Vegeta and burn the two to make Gogeta. Oh, dude, that'd be amazing. Oh, my, I didn't even think of that. I, I would burn all the trunks and Goten to make Gotenks. Oh, that'd be great. My boy says, Tian, easily 5K in a month. Wait, who's talking about Tian? Oh, um, sorry. I'm just talking about Marceline going to 5K. I don't think that'll be 5K in a month, but but I think that definitely goes up, especially when we get home to NFT. C15 says, BZ. Brendan Z in the building. What up? What up, Brendan Z? Cody Williams says, BZ, this is the way. As is, apparently, if you put Randy in the Coke snow globe, he changes clothes. <laughs> yeah, but Rick says, uh, it's off app deal, so jump. Yeah, yeah, it was about seven. Oh, well, says, well, Wally was a great movie. Watch it. I heard it was very good. Um, pretty much every girl that I dated loved it. Um, it's just not for me, man. It's not for me. Uh, and says, can think of uh, any catalyst for Marceline? Really just, just um, owe me to NFT and OpenSea. A lot of these will go up. And, and again, people like me that were selling these things for other stuff. And, you know, real, I'll, I'll get back into it because I, I like it. Groot is better than Loki Gator. Oh. I mean, if you go and you take a look at the uh, picture, I don't know if I, I didn't take a picture of it, but uh, for the next Avengers movie, um, Groot will be in the next Avengers movie. Uh, you have America Chavez, you have Black Panther will be in there. And again, there is going to be a new Black Panther. They're not going to recast. Um, uh, they're not going to recast him, but they will have somebody else take up the mantle. Uh, we don't know who that is, but there's going to be Thor. There's going to be Lady Thor. There's going to be Jane Foster. Um, there is going to be uh, Wasp. Ant-Man was conspicuously absent. I don't know why. There was uh, Peter Quill. He was there. Uh, Spider-Man was there. Uh, what's the name from the uh, Dora Milaje? Uh, Okoye. Okoye was there. So there are going to be a bunch of other... Uh, I don't know if Captain Marvel is there or not. I think WandaVision will probably be there. Um, or Wanda will be there. Um, but yeah, Groot being in the next Avengers movie, Alligator Loki probably not being in the Avengers movie. He might be in a Young Avengers thing, maybe as like a cameo. Him, you know, if, if Kid Loki brings him, he might be there. Um, yeah. Prime Boy says the only fact that she is season one and one of the earliest sets, other than Black and White, and only seventeen fifty. Good point, Prime Boy. Season one collectibles we wanted for out of reach for most. Agreed. We the people says we need Wolverine. I'll sell everything for it. <laughs> We do love Wolverine. Could you imagine the animations? You know, the animation just goes, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, I just, uh, I love Wolverine. Uh, Vittor Jean Pascal says, Wally e remains the first Pixar NFT. It does, that is true. X says, uh, what about the uh, Dead Sam's? I think it'll take a while, but I think people will eventually start putting good respect on them because of what they're doing. First U.S. Postal Service stamps. A lot of Mexicans will like it because it does have that Day of the Dead thing. Uh, have Omi, you shouldn't be worried. It's a good point. Sold Ultra Mickey for Common and Uncommon Spider Man 252. Uh, I don't know if I'd do that. I don't know if I. It's, it, so it's not a really coveted comic in real life, but it is very, very, very limited in this run uh, and on VV. So even if 99% of people don't like it, it probably only takes 1,000 or so people to be able to really raise that floor. Um, uh, it's, I would not have done that, but it could pay off. It says, what's your long-term prediction for Alligator Loki Common? Well, it doesn't seem right now that the, the only commons that are above 100 are the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, the normal Spider-Man, and I think that's it. All the other commons are below $100. I do see that changing at some point, but again, this has 9,800 of them. Um, and again, the ones that I have do not even equal 1%, but I do not sell. So, um, you, you know, to, to get, yeah, it's, it's so much. It's so much. And I, I mean, how many people are really going to be interested in the Loki set because they can't get the secret rare? If you don't get the secret rare, it's like, all right, I'm not even going to bother with the set. Are you going to say like, okay, you know what? I'll get the ultra rare and the common just to have those. Maybe some people do that, but some people will be like, "Well, if I can't get the secret rare, I can't complete the set. I'm not going to get the ultra rare and, and the and the common." So I, I do think there will be two camps. Um, it is hard. 
again, I, I was stacking those because they were under retail and because I really liked them. And yeah, I mean, I mean, even now though, which is a little harder to do right now, but going, I'm going to him, 261 of them for sale. So you have, let's say, 660, 690, what is that, 12, that's, that's 1350, plus another 7, so 30, so it's 2100, um, let's say 2850 is 4, so let's say 28, 20, uh, 50, so it's 2035, so let's say 3610 is 5, and let's say 610, 4810 uh, is 6, so about, if you spend $4,800, and ten and forty eight hundred ten dollars, uh, you move the price up to eighty dollar floor, and you remove sixty of them, uh, but but then so then there's you know two hundred one left, uh, and you know once it goes to eighty, people that bought at thirty five are ah I'm gonna flip it, you know so that might go back down again. You might see some more, but there is less than three percent of them out there right now, so you can do that if you want. And again, you spend less than five hundred five thousand uh, dollars, and you get a bunch of them. Um, Brendan Z says, I like that you stick with what you like. Ah, oh, well, thank you. That says, I don't buy it. You're just pumping alligator Lokis to increase your funds. Again, I don't sell, so it doesn't really make sense. And wait, what don't you buy? Oh, you don't buy the alligator Loki? Cause, which again, is fine. Um, but no, I, I, again, there is a move there. Um, again, for me, because I don't cash out, it's not really gonna mean too much, but I do think there is a move and I want to be considered, I've always wanted to be considered the brown Steve Irwin. And this is one of the ways I can do it in conjunction with the fact that there is a, a lot of potential catalysts. Like I said before, uh, if someone were to ask me, hey, Superman or uh, Secret Rare Alligator Loki, I would most likely tell them to go with Superman just because of, you know, what he is, what he can do. But, you know, if he wants to play high risk, you can totally go with Loki. I have my Patreon member shout out. Let's see what we got here. If I could find you now, things would get better. We could leave this town and run forever. I know somewhere, somehow, we'll be together. Let your waves crash down on me and take me away. Yeah, okay. Uh, so now that it is my two hour Patreon member shout out, we're going to go over the fridge as well. Um, big shout out to Kyle Wilson, Wendy Stabalis, Golden Assets, Puddin' Cheeks, BB Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, and Legacy of Bermuda on the YouTube. They're very good. We enjoy them. Uh, we do have uh, at EQ underscore crypto and at wizard, wet wizard VV on the Twitter. All right, so extra funds and you want to do some stuff, uh, afrodroidlegends.org, youstayglassy.store, and woundedwarriorproject.org. If you decide that you want to follow the man at Hey David Don on the Twitter, uh, you are totally more than welcome to. And Stand Off Chart on the VV app is one of the best people to follow um, in conjunction with Chavi Cat 5 That is me. I do think having a lot of followers on the VV app will eventually give you some social capital and some social currency. Maybe not with Twitter, but I think so. <clears throat> Dan Anand says, Hey Randy, greetings from London. What is your end of year price prediction on first appearance Joker and common Deadpool? Um, first appearance... Ooh, hang on one second. We got, we, I'll get that to a sec. We do have Aldous Havley with a $5 super chat saying, Might be crazy, but I've never sold any of my collection. We're so early that everything will continue to go up. Big hugs on all. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, me. Um, I, I, I agree. Um, we're very early. I think I will probably regret selling that Riso. Maybe. I mean, I did buy a Grail with it, you know, for the comics. I did buy another Fantastic Four number one. And I did buy another Secret Rare Alligator Loki and another Secret Rare Storm. So I'm happy with it because, again, those... The Loki and the Storm... The Loki is things that I really like. Almost worth it just for that. Uh, and the Storm, she was undervalued. Um, the short term, that buying of that Fantastic One, Fantastic Four number one, uh, I've lost currently about $800. Of it. I bought it twelve seven, dollars went down to eleven nine. dollars um, But again, I did that because it was an extra reso that I had. I paid $7,200 for it. I sold it for nineteen one, dollars so I did make more than $11,000, which is probably pretty good. Again, will that be a hundred k or something? Yeah, that whole that'll be a hundred thousand dollars set. Um, but I still have the whole set, so that's why I did it. Um, but yeah, we're we're insanely early. Big hug, big hugs to you, brother. 
So going back to where I was. Oh God, where was I? Um, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, greetings from London. Uh, cheers, Dan. Uh, end of your prize on first appearance, Joker, like four grand. Um, 4K, 5K. Uh, common Deadpool. That's gonna be a little harder to be able to go and see. Common Deadpool. Where's he at? Where's he at? Well, he is the only one without clothes, but I also see that he will probably get clothes, or that the other ones will probably be able to take them off. The common ones, probably maybe $400, $400 for the common. You know, I know there are a lot of them. They're 18000 but if you really want Deadpool and you really can't get this, if you're a kid, you can't get the secret rare, you can't get whatever, you know, maybe mom and dad get you the common. I do feel some bad for some people that, um, uh, that, that maybe the family can't do that and they, they didn't show up early enough and they can't get some of their favorite characters. testimony from psychiatrists and uh, children themselves uh, show that it's uh, very upsetting and has a bad moral effect and that it is directly responsible for a substantial amount of juvenile delinquency and child crime. A substantial amount from juvenile delinquency and childhood crime. But yeah, being, so this is just um, somebody sent me, the Patreon member sent me this, um, you know, the, the one that is on that specific tier. Um, it was pretty cool being able to go and read um, comic books in AR. This is awesome. Just showed it live. It is pretty awesome to be able to do that. Um, but the comic, yeah, the comic book club is maybe a couple, several, 400. Zachary Watson says, hey Randy, hope you're doing well. Uh, what exactly happened to Earth 2 tiers? Sorry, I missed it. It's just the uh, tiers for Jewel 2, or, or it's tiers. For the jewels, uh, I actually haven't gone on yet. Again, as soon as I woke up, I pretty much just saw that news, the Tesla news, and the Omi news, and you know the market things happening. So I didn't really have time to go into it or check. Ooh, excuse me. But if I go to Earth Two right now, I'll take a look. See, let me just collect some of my essence. And also now they have at the bottom, every single time something a sale happens. You're able to go and see that in real time. Um, and this pretty much just shows the uh, how many people are in the game right now. And that transactions happen every every second or every couple of seconds. Um, and there is a new thing over here uh, where you go and take a look at the marketplace, leaderboard, news, how to, support. Um, so I, transforming this essence. You do have a bit of tiles. Um, buy land, marketplace, game. So if you go to game activities down there, you should be able to go and see. Oh, I'm sorry. If you click on your little profile over there, you'll be able to see stuff. I have 32,000 essence. Um, but if you go to resources, you should be able to go, um, you know, collect all the jewels. And I'm going to get 50, uh, 26 and go into the bazaar. They are currently only at 26 cents. So they are down from the 35 cent high that they were at previously. Um, and so if you wanted to buy, now might not be a bad time. So you can craft, you can slot the jewels on any of your properties. Um, you'll obviously be able to sell them, but crafting is the ones when they have steer t uh, the tiers uh, and you can do the combinations and all that. Again, I haven't really gone too far into it, but it is uh, something I will in the future. Moving on. Hughes Albert says, buy more prides. <laughs> I don't have the monies. <laughs> Alessandro Bautista says, to the moon. Clad Chat says, I hope to see 100 Lokis in your museum someday. Combined, I do already have it, because I do have 20 Ultra Rares, 15 Secret, and the 84. So I do I do combined have, have that. Um, but yeah, I'll get a little more. Randy Garcia says, Randelicious, what's up, G? Question, sell Ultra Rare Zombie Hunter Spider-Man for a rare OG Spider-Man? Um, that's probably not a bad idea. But let me just make sure. I don't want to be able to go and say, oh, y'all, there you go. Do that right now. Um, geez, Omi, Omi, kind of, okay. Uh, and the, the the ultra rare Zombie Hunter Spider Man was at one point like $7.95. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it did take a little bit of a dip. Uh, 
Oh, is it seven thirty five? He was at like six something yesterday. It's seven thirty five now. So, um, sell him now. And the rare Spider Man isn't that like nine hundred dollars? Unless it took a, unless it dumped. Or not dumped. Just went, oh, it's nine eighty. Um, might be a little bit of what? Not too, not too far. L literally ten, ten people have to go and buy one for it to reach a thousand dollars. Um, long term, that that'll be that'll be a couple thousand probably. Um. But short term, I don't know. But I do think the the uncommon is four thirty six, so that's pretty good for the uncommon. And the common's five hundred. Yeah, so I, I would say again, yeah, pro probably probably good idea. Long term, again, it's yeah, that that would be that that would be. I, I'll just I'd say you're probably good with there. Uh, Randy's getting gifts like his B day. Yeah, I know, right? Randy's like, I love this. Yeah, this is great. Sky Dog says, Randy, what's your VV profile name? I want to send you a comic. PJS 1982. Okay. Um, the profile name is Chubby Cat 5 If you want to look for me, um, I have the... Um, I have the... Uh, what's that called? Steve Rogers Musical. The Steve Rogers Musical poster is number 45. So go there. You can see my profile. If you do want... I, this is only for Scotty Dog because he requested. You can go there and do that. Um, and then I'll treasure that for a while. Um, yeah. Spider Zero says, I would love to see Spawn comics or collectibles and Ghost Rider, also Morbius from Spider Man. I think Morbius we might get. I think that's something we might get. Um, Spawn would be cool. Spawn, I'd like the collectible of Spawn. That'd be awesome. But yeah, that'd be cool also. Uh, Ghost Rider, dude, Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider. There's a lot they can do with them. John Robert Yellen says, hey, Randy, I forgot. I listed a board cube and sold it. Luckily, it was a spare, and I still have my full Star Trek set. Omi can moon now. I'm ready to quit my job and move somewhere warm. Same. Same Zs. Devin at Dagobah Outpost says, Magic the Gathering cards would be amazing. Low-cost cards, high-cost card. Everyone would get in on that. Um, well, with Magic, a lot of it is about playability. And, you know, like the Alpha Black Lotus and all that. that all the good things are probably going to be really expensive so it's going to be hard for people to complete decks and um while doing that whereas pokemon it's not really so much about playability as much as it is about just being cool and collectible charizard not really that playable because when you do those things you have to burn some of the energy cards like i said not really that playable um but hitmonchan best of both worlds look cool boxer and he has that you know one uh he's got 70 health for a basic pokemon and one energy just does a jab. So uh, he is good, but I do understand what you're saying with that. Where it goes, Randy, two secret red Deadpools will cost like one ultra rare Spidey Man a little later, or your Spidey will be higher. Probably the ultra rare Spidey will be higher. Hugo Halber says, buy some pride, please. I don't have monies. Curtis McCarthy says, poolside, uh, I poolsided Superman and now regret it, but happy to see Supergirl pumping too. Yes, yes, yes. I love how poolsided has been made into a verb or adjective. Uh, yeah, that's a verb, poolsided. Kevin says, are we pumping just because of scarcity? Too many people on the app and then floor rises? Pr pretty much. That is pretty much what happens. And thank you guys for 100 likes. That means the world. Seven Kaz says, we're pumping because the rest of the market is pumping and the token of migration is on the horizon. That's also true. Hugues Albert says, everybody needs a pride. It's a blue chip. I think it is as well. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I would, I don't know. Most likely it will be very successful, especially because the you know, Rewind Inc. and, um, you know, Art Patron signed that $50 million deal last year. That is not the only ones that we're going to get. Um, I don't know if I would call it a blue chip, though. I think it might turn into one eventually. Usher says, is 28,888 common too many for Groot? I don't think so, because Groot is going to be on the Avengers. He is going to be in uh, Guardians 3, the Asgardians of the Galaxy. Um, there is going to be a group show coming out on uh, Disney+. Plus. Guardians are going to have a Christmas special, so there is a lot. Uh, and again, children love him. My kids are the baby Groot. They thoroughly enjoyed. Now we're at teen Groot. We're kind of at young adult Groot, if you see in the picture that, um, from yesterday. Where is he reading the questions from, Rob G? I'm reading them from the comments. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm behind a little bit. I'm trying to get there, kind of trying to catch up. Yugo and Tasha says, you should start a lot of giveaways. Mr. Peg can come to your stream and talk. Oh, Mr. Pags can talk a lot and make him do giveaways. He'll gain lots of subs and everyone wins. Well, he doesn't win if, if he gives if he gives everything away. Um, but he did a crazy... And he did he did two yesterday, which um, Stephen Gwynn won, 
and Troll Games one uh, for, for everybody. But he also did a giveaway for the people that support me on my Patreon and Fridge sheet. And um, Wendy Stabalis actually won. She won a rare... Um, she won a rare hit monkey, but it was number 204. That's like a thousand dollar comic, which is nuts. So that's another good reason to be on the fridge. You can like, it was ridiculous. Um, mm -hmm. DW says, I feel like pride will do well, but maybe take a bit longer to gain traction. It's not an obvious buy for most when, uh, when comparing to the blue chips on the app. That's, that's also true. Um, but, but Huygens Albert says pride will go to open sea and he's right. It will. Again, the, the independent artists are the ones that are most likely to go first because there's no red tape. They don't have to approve it, you know, by eight or ten different layers like these big companies do. These ones will be the ones that are be like, hey, yeah, it's probably a really good idea uh, just to get their work out there. So it is not confirmed, but it just makes the most sense right now. Uh, and DW says, if so, well, it will do well. Brendan Lago says, stuck if I should so that if I should sell my secret rare Coke for a golden moment, probably. Um, Cokes are... Coke's been around for over 100 years, technically three centuries now, in the 1800s, 1900s, now 2000s. Um, and, you know, it's one of the most popular drinks on the planet. But I think as time goes on, as people drink less and less of that, they get healthier. And um, I, I think golden moments are, yeah, I think they're better. And I was happily with that $5 super chat. So it might be crazy, but I've never sold any of my collection. They were so early that everything will continue to go up. Big hugs to all. Yes. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me. Um, so I think you're 100% correct that we are early. Everything will probably go up just because of the scarcity, just because it's on Vivi. Uh, again, things don't sell. The only thing selling under retail right now is Common Group. It's the only thing. I don't think anything else is. If it is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that's the only thing. And I got four of them. Vegas Albert says Javinci already on OpenSea, but he means the, the ones on VV. But but yeah, so he'll he'll probably go. DW says off air. What's his thoughts on Earth 2 will be around in five years? Where it'll be around? But it'll definitely be around, but where it'll be, it'll it'll be one of the most awesome metaverses out there. Um King of NFTs, I've made many mistakes in crypto, but my belly full. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same. Ogantashi says he got lots to catch up on with the comments. I honestly I'm only behind by like 15-ish minutes, 16, 13 minutes. Uh, I've been behind by an hour before because there's so many people uh, coming in and commenting. Meme Connect says, saying financial advice is the same as you saying you thought she was 18. Well, I say not financial advice. Um, and it's also in the description as well. So I don't think it'll be around there, but I think that's what I think. Um, Zach says you should charge common Loki for escrow. I think a lot of people would do it. I do. I do charge common Loki for escrow. Um, well, it really, yeah, it really depends because... Yeah, I was charging him when he was like $30. $30. Now he's at like $60. So for the for the higher ones, for like $10,000 or more, I will charge a common alligator Loki. Um, for the ones that are just like one to $10,000, give me like 20 gems or give me $20 for the only 25, give or take. Um, so I don't really like doing the smaller ones. I don't do anything under 1,000 um, because I just, just do it yourself. But but um, yeah, I really for even the one to ten thousand ones. You know, if I get a couple of those a day, I don't have a lot of time, and that does take a lot of time to do, um, especially if they have a bunch of stuff. But you know, the ten thousand they're they're worth it. You know, if it's an you know if it takes an hour, okay, well, get an alligator Loki, sixty dollars an hour. It's really not bad. Um, Meme Connect says, "At King of Entities, did you buy BitConnect? Um, King of Entities is BitConnect. Missed that great opportunity." C15 says Catwoman will be a $300 floor soon. Yes, absolutely. She thick. She first appearance. She great. People are speculating there might be something in the safe. Meme Connect says, did you all know that NFTs are not even on the blockchain, but actually just a picture stored on the cloud server? No, they're on the blockchain. Uh, Robert Desmond Warner says, yep, 10 KJPEGs. Um, I am Egro says, hello, brother. What's going on? Meme Collect says, also, did you guys... Uh, no, the drone game that bought by Earth 2 is probably going to get removed if they're going to include anything with NFTs in it. No, they're going to be on the... Um, that will be released for free. Uh, they're working on that currently. I'm Agro says, long time no see. How's my hero doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm Agro. I, um, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you know, things are going well. We got Dashy here. We got the we got the people. Uh, it's a good time. Um, can I have removed on Steam again? They'll give the uh, Earth Two will give that out for free at some point. Jake Hughes says, "Hi, Randy. Just wanted to uh, thank you for all the things you do for the community." Uh, yeah, no, I th I think um, 
it's wild what's been happening. And, you know, if I have a little bit of knowledge and I can share it, or at least give some perspective. And, and again, the experience with Earth 2, Pokemon, and everything else, um, uh, I, I think I'd, if I can give a couple people to rally behind and say, like, hey, uh, like, again, when, when Omi, like, uh, there was when Omi was dipping hard and when Omi was, you know, in, in like the bad times, I would go live or I would go on like Dan Lee's or Cavell Anderson's, like, hey guys, listen, I don't care what the vicissitudes the last, you know, couple of days have been, I'm buying right here. I, I'm, and I think a lot, when people, a lot of people see that, like, okay, you know, he's buying more, um, then, then they feel a little more comfortable and they feel, and it's not even about them buying more. It would just be about them saying, like, okay, just giving them more peace of mind, which, you, you know, you can't really put a price on that. Mew Connect, so how many uh, here actually think that Earth 2 is real, not a scam? I'm not here hating, just saying, just asking. Um, well, because Earth 2, like I said, they bought the drone video game. They currently have, you know, they've had uh, Dylan Seo, you know, there's one of the people that worked on the Oculus Rift on board with them. You know, they have partnered with 5DCA, um, the marketing agency, with Mapbox they've had as well. They also have a, uh, a guy from Binance that they just sniped from them. They will have a listing soon. So I am very, very confident. Again, the only thing I did not sell when I was getting everything into Omi after I sold my Tesla, my Pokemon cards, my Bitcoin, the only thing I did not sell was Earth 2 because of the high level of confidence I have in it. Charles Elgato says, you should put your Deadpool mask uh, on to keep your face warm. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. Red Ghost says, Randy, should I flip three secret rare Deadpools now for one ultra rare Spidey? Um, I mean, I do think right now, I get anything can happen, but because Deadpool went from so high, and, and not so, so high, um, Sana Tank 3 has sent me a collectible. Um, again? Oh no, that, that was the same one. That was the same one. I, I guess I got, I got, I got it miss, uh, oh, we sent Aquaria also? Oh my god, I got an Aquaria also! Oh my, I didn't even see that before. Oh my god, that's, a, that's incredible. Oh my god, so I got I got this one. Oh my god, and then I got the, uh, the cerulean thing. Oh my god, it's, the see through ones those are pretty legit. Um, thank you, Sonic Tank Three. I did not realize that because I had so many new newer followers. Um, but thank you, thank you so much. Um, that that means a lot. So Sonic Tank uh, just continues to send me things. <laughs> um, is the man? What was the what was the question? Um, oh yeah, so the secret rare Deadpool's. Uh, Okay, I gotta go back in. It's not going. <laughs> I don't. Okay, here it is. Uh, profile. Um, yeah, you know, with Deadpool being at one time thirty five hundred, and again, I don't know when you got him. You said secret rare, right? Let's see. Yeah. Well, is that is that so? Figure sell at twenty six hundred to make sure they sell. You know, um, 2,600 times 0.915, because it's 8.5%. So you're actually netting about 2,300. So 2,300-ish, you know, times 3 is 7,1. And if you can go and do that for the ultra-rare Spider-Man, the, the floor. Yeah, um... Ideally, I would like, I, I like thing, multiple of things because if I need to flip, you know, or need gems, I could sell one of them and you have that option with Deadpool, but, you know, to get an ultra rare Spider-Man right now, you know, th that'll be 10k, but so will Deadpool, um, you know, which one's going to go faster? I, again, coin flip, I do see ultra rare Spider-Man as that S tier type thing and Deadpool maybe being in like a, a lower A or B tier, um, but, but definitely... Excuse me, but definitely something that um, I, either way, I don't think you'll be sad. That first appearance, Spider-Man, you know, especially ultra animated, pro probably gonna go, probably gonna go high. So that's probably fine. Again, depends which one you like more, and and that and that'll probably have, have a little bit of clout for that. Justin says Elizabeth Olsen is a total knockout. She is so beautiful. She is just, oh, that woman. Oof, like, oof, yeah. 
Um, she's great. Peter BDB says, why is Snow Globe Polar Bear so low, Randy? I stacked up 40 and they are not moving. Snow Globe Polar Bear. Let's take a look, see. I actually have one of the set now. Uh, thanks. Thanks to my good buddy. Not not a whole set, uh, but but a hey, why is my notifications not loading? Um notifications not loading. Oh no. Oh yeah, so thank you to uh Sauna Tank 3 that sent me that uh polar bear. You said the snow the polar bear ones? Polar bear, um the commons. I don't know what you bought it at. It's at 145. Again, they were listed at 29 at one point. I don't know what they went to, but well, out of 13,000. So there's about five, there's a slightly more than, there's about 5% of them available. Um, and I think people right now are currently just, this is more like a slow rise. This is more like a slow burn. Um, they will, it'll just take a little while um, because people are just with, with their superheroes right now. And, you know, the stamps and the polar bears, these will probably take some time, especially, and I see this next Christmas, especially pumping as well. But that'll take some time. You know, says, also, why does Earth 2 have Omar Rahim on the team when he has done multiple frauds and it's all public? Uh, I actually don't know who he is. So um, if there is something like that, by all means, um, post on Twitter or whatever, have people look into it, have people question it. Uh, and if it's someone that I feel like shouldn't be on the team, I'll totally, you know, um, fight him with you. And that'd be good uh, to get if, if he did do something like that. Uh, then, then definitely, yeah, that's someone we should probably try to get off the team. But again, I you're just someone on the internet right now that clearly does not like Earth 2, and I don't know if you're just saying that, but again, I would like to look into that if that is something that's real. James Wall says, Meme Connect, make sure the image itself isn't stored directly on the chain that's known. All of the relevant information is on the chain, and the only way the image file would be lost is if the platform died. Alessandro Bautista says, that's like saying alcohol will go away as people get healthier. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, good. That's a good point. I, I am mistaken. I, before I did say that, um, you know, as people get healthier, they'll turn away from coke, which has already happened. Um, granted, that does really, really um, have taken consideration the circle of friends you have. A lot of the friends that I have, or at least growing up, or whatever, they were athletes, and they, you know, nobody really drank it. At least growing up, um, in the military, the only time people would drink that was really. So they had Jack and Coke, big, big stuff in the military uh, with that drink. Um, but so, yeah, maybe I'm a little more tilted towards one way just because the people around me did not drink that. Um, whereas, again, the people that when I grew up with, they drink Coke like every day, but they're very unhealthy. So I hang around healthier people that did not drink it. Um, I, I guess that's, that's what I saw. But but again, that, that is true. A lot A lot more people do drink less soda. A lot more people are drinking more water. Um, but again, Coca-Cola, I think, has Aquafina, or, or it does own a water company. Um, so they are still, you know, make sure, making sure they're on top. Um, James Wallace's platform. <laughs> yeah, no. Musketeer says, just bought my second ultra-rare alligator Loki, undervalued. Dabs. Very good, very good. New Connects, uh, James Wallace can tell me why Earth 2 and Omar Rehim. I Again, I don't know. I don't know who he is. As well as I'm not invested in Earth 2 at all. I was only referring to your statements about the images of NFTs. Their challenge is I think the anime is going to kill it more than people realize. I've seen this rise over time. An anime uh, expo, and there being a couple thousand to tens of thousands, if not more today. Yeah, and and they, despite you know getting setbacks by the pandemic, they are really things that um, that people are still really trying to go to. It's great. Uh, Meme Connects as well. Randy, please stop. Just reach about NFTs. I trust me, I have invested a lot. I'm Agros is amazing to hear, brother. As always, amazing person and main chain in many communities. Why thank you. Why thank you so much. Um, John M says, Will you remember all of us when you're pulling two thousand viewers a stream? Um, I'm sure. I mean, I, I don't think I'd be able to go and read every single comment. It's getting very, very difficult to now. Each stream that I want to do, maybe like an hour, it always turns into three plus hours, so it is hard. Um, and, and it does take a lot more. So I won't be, so at some point this year, I will not be able to get, I'll still try to answer every comment on YouTube on the videos, but yeah, if, if I have, if I reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers, these will be much, much harder. Uh, well, cause you have any full master sets of Pokemon card. I was actually one of three people in the world to ever have a completed gym challenge set 
first edition PSA 10. And uh, that that was that it's 132 cards in that set. First edition PSA 10 is almost impossible. And I did it. Uh, I sold most of that for my uh, trophy Kangaskhan uh, PSA 10, where only there's only 40 something in the world, and only 11 were graded PSA 10. And I had that. I paid a record price for it, for it of 80,000, and I sold it for just under 300,000. Um, it was a very good, very good time. I know it was undervalued. Um, but now I don't have any. I sold them all for Omi. This has anyone own the rights to Pepe? <laughs> Someone make an NFT? I don't know. Um, let's tears is Randy. If you hypothetically had 500 gems, is there something you think would be jumping on right now? Dabs one last time. Uh, right now. That's, there's, I don't know. There's a lot of ton of really good stuff for cheap. I think the secret rare shark bite was at like 400 and you know, that's like a, you know, that could go wherever it's just a secret rare. There is a couple thousand of them. Um, but it's the only secret rare of the Myrmicorno and Unicorno thing. Um, I'm curious to see where that goes. But I would say Zombie Captain America is probably good. I would say the Common Spider-Man is probably your best bet, because that's about 500 right now. Or, or the Uncommon Spider-Man, which was um, like like 440, give or take. C15 says, do you still buy packs or boxes of Pokemon? If so, which ones? I do not. I will go and get a Gym Challenge first edition sealed box. I will get into sealed product as Omi gets higher and higher. But currently, no, I don't buy packs. Um, just do that. Meme Connects, I've been in crypto since 2011. I can tell that just because they have partners does not mean it's not a scam, bro. I mean, I guess, but I would weigh my... Um, again, when I did deep dives in the company, deep dives into them, I didn't really find anything um that was um that that would be outside of the realm of now this is reasonable as says meme connect doesn't know who's on the team <laughs> um peter says all love randy all love robert doesn't want says randy will you accept an nft for some land in on topia for my library i'll give you some time to consider i don't know what part of land you would need in but Yes. If you send me an, a common alligator Loki, I will give you a plot of of uh, a $50 plot. Or I'll give you a fair plot. I'll give you a $60 plot of uh, in Chavez Topia. I will, I will do that. Um, so let, let me know. Um, you know, s send it and I'll give you and I'll give you a plot. Or it'll cost you a penny, but I'll give it to you. Um, Robert Desmond Warner, message me on Twitter. Just as I meant, call me. Again, meme connect. I do not know who Amir Omar Rahim is, so I would have to do a uh, deep dive on him. James Wallace says meme connects. I don't know if this is your first time here. What Randy Lillard answers every chat question. Yeah, uh, meme connect has been a while, um, so he has been here before, mostly just uh, hating on Earth too. But James Wallace says he just doesn't go straight to your question because you at him. That's a good point. Super chats I will go straight to, um, but that is. Because, you know, if they're paying for it, they, they deserve that first, you know, thing. Um, Nerd Shaman says, I'll have to catch you later, Randy. It was a pleasure. Got to go teach my animation class with you. Yes, of course. You have a good one, Nerd Shaman. Hope you're doing really well. Um, Nerd Shaman says, much love. James Wallace says, just give him some time. Yep, yep, yep. Randall Lago says, thoughts on Ultraman. I feel like it's being part of season one. And it's being first appearance in Japan Superman. And on top of that, only about 3,000 of them. They will moon. Yeah, once Asia is fully on board, that is something that everyone is expecting to go hype for. I don't know how much is rising now because of the hype for that, how many people take profit, um, but, you know, we'll see. Buying the rumor, selling the news. Marcus says, sheesh, only be swinging today. It do be swinging, though. Uh, Dolan Duck says, do you think Naruto or Dragon Ball first on VV? Probably want to save the best for last. So I, I, I hope they do something not crazy for anime first, you know, just kind of build the suspense. But then, yes, ideally, I would like Naruto. I would like My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z, Attack on Titan. These are things that the anime community will go ape for. Just says you have to eventually put a chat delay on. I know, right? With the people, says you think Ninja Turtles will ever be on the app? Maybe. They are already on Atomic Hub and Wax. But I think that with these, 
Uh, we might be able to get some different types of ones on here at some point, maybe. Alessandro says it picked up a number 100 shark bite at 750. Good pickup. I, I don't know where that goes. Um, they're cute. They're, they're all, and that's the one that I would want. It looks the coolest, but again, I'm not sure. Our Desmond Warner says just like ultra rare storm for 365. How'd you get that? Yeah, the floor's four. Yeah, how, that's really good. Mark says, oh yeah, I forgot to mention your stream with Pags with fire. Thank you. People like Ninja Turtles will come on recur. That's possible. Reese says, jacket is fire, looking like Bowser. Why, thank you. It is. It is Bowser. C15 says, is that on Earth 2 or the VVverse? I forget which one you're, which was that was. Chavistopia is is right currently on Earth 2, but there will be a Chavistopia in the VVverse as well. Dylan Saylor says, epic jacket. Much appreciated for all you do. Thank you. Apis Ben Simmons says, hey, Randy, what white t-shirt are you wearing under that? Where now with standing? It is not a white t-shirt. It is a sand tee that I got in the military. So, oh God, the, the light. That is it. Um, Cake says, uh, peace. Marco, yours says, have you seen the Recur project? Yes. Uh, I think that will be successful in its own right. And we should have a, uh, a really good time uh, if, if they come out with some 3D stuff, uh, I'll go and get some. So the teens is recurs Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay, so they will have that. But again, they might have that as 2D or something like that. It's possible that because they have licenses for one, we might get it for the other. But if they have it for 2D, 3D, then by all means, that goes to them. And I do think, um, yeah. Uh, so teens, thank you for your service. Cheers, cheers. I appreciate the support. Uh, everyone, that is it for me today. Everyone, check out everyone on here. Uh, everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I am excited for Mario on VV. I love you guys. Thank you for the super chats. I will try to go live later tonight. I'll see how the voice sounds. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Meow. 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 Meow.